Adams. History being made as the first bounce takes place. It's come to turf now, picked up by Trot, who's caught. Trot caught around the head too, according to umpire Bill Duller, and he will take the first kick in this big match. St Kilda moving into attack, a high torpedo punt kick over the centre-half forward position, punched away, picked up here and lost by Williams, picked up and kicked by Theodore. Into the forward pocket, Halley gives chase rest, and Ross Smith's there for St Kilda, they dive, it was Halley into the back of Ross Smith, being picked up and snapped by Minot. Result. Out of bounds on the full. According to this, uh, I thought Minot may have scored from that one, Frank. I was watching the umpires closely. Now we see Darrell Gerlach going back, picking the ball up from the gutter, and will take the free kick. Interesting to note, Jack, that Minot started off in the forward pocket and Dittrich started off in the first rung. Taken here by Gerlach, kicked up towards the half-back flank position. The pack wait for it down there. Dittrich coming in for the spoiler, tried for late, but it plays allowed to go on. The big pack develops, picked up by Ross Smith, driven towards the goal square, starting to swing in, it has... It's four points, the first throw on the board to St Kilda. Kicked by Ross Smith exactly one minute into the first quarter. Well, good football there by Smith, a very damaging player, as everyone realises. And Rossi Smith, the captain of St Kilda, kicking the first goal in the first elimination match, that is the senior elimination match, at VFL Park Waverley. A big crowd in attendance, a colourful crowd, and expecting a great game of football. Just about jam-packed. A few empty seats in the members' enclosure, but the rest of the ground appears to be quite full. There's the bounds taking place. Dittrich taps at the back of the pack. Races on here. No, Nobody can pick up yet. Players fumbling slightly. Elliot uh, getting it now, getting a hand pass out to Pasenko. Uh, Pasenko just about threw that to Dittrich. Dittrich couldn't get the kick in. Comes back toward Elliot. A hand pass coming out. No, he's caught. Little kick comes up. A chance for Manzi. Manzi carrying the ball through the back, uh, fr through the pack at half forward. A long kick down to Johnny Stevens. He couldn't quite get to it. They give Chase Gerlach in front position, content to let the ball go out of bounds in St Kilda's forward pocket, 25 yards away from goal. St Kilda already have drawn first blood. Ross Smith stirring one through at the one-minute mark. St Kilda leading by one goal. They do battle down there. It's been taken and lost by Lawrence, picked up by Neville Fields, a long way away from centre. He's in all sorts of trouble. Plans a call as the Fields cops one on the side of the head, but got his kick in, picked up by Fletcher. Fletcher's on half-back flank. He puts a missed kick, actually, up towards the centre of the ground. They fly, comes down towards Elliott, pushed in the back by Roberts. They both dive on it. In comes umpire Della. Picks up the ball and it'll be umpire Bill Della to bounce the ball right in the centre of VFL Park. There's the bounce coming up now by umpire Della. The ruckman rise high. A tap down came from McKenzie, taken and driven upfield. That's been kicked up towards the half forward zone. That could have been a push in the back to Della Hunty. <laughs> Pardon me. And Della Hunty will take this kick and put Essendon into attack for the first time. Up and over centre half forward. Bletham down there. So to is Murray. He got one hand out. Sported. Cunningham comes on the scene now. Joined by Elliot. A little bit slow to get rid of it. Gets it across here. Bletham mishandled it. So to does Tottenham. But he's back now across Ross Smith. They're doing battle down there. A little bit of uncertainty. Certainly a lot of uh, nervous tension here. And uh, things hiding up a bit. Umpire Della in control. Awarding a 15 yard penalty. So the, wall, the ball will be going back to St Kilda's. Just picking him up, it'll be Glenn Elliott, I'd expect. Elliott was held there by Tudnam to take this free kick, the 15-yard penalty coming up, as Frank has told you. Elliott now kicking up toward the wing area on the outer side. A high kick coming up, the man in front, Barry Breen of St Kilda. A hand pass across to Alan Davis. Davis streaking through half forward, driving in toward the full forward zone. The lead from Lawrence, he couldn't take the mark. It's been picked up here by Halley and lost by Halley. It's on the turf where the players struggle for possession. Halley getting pushed out of the pack, in the back, but no free kick coming up. It's Fletcher now, driving back toward the uh, centre-half back area. But they rise high, Ditterich and McKenzie, the mark for the big blonde bombshell, Carl Ditterich. Big Carl at centre-half forward. And centre-half forward at Fairfall Park, a long way from home, a high kick to within 35 yards of goal. They fly, nobody can get the spoiler, comes down to the back. Stevens an opportunity here in, uh, directly in front of goal. Only 30 yards out being forced. Anfield now pushed in the back. Play going on, Stevens held, he'll get it this time. And Stevens, 45 yards out, just about directly in front. And every chance of notching St Kilda's second goal. Well, Stevens has been a prolific kicker of goals this season for St Kilda. You say 45 yards, Frank. It's going to take a long kick. I think it might be just a shade over 45. It's a fairly long kick, I would say, for Stevens. But we'll see how he goes. He's coming in now, trying for the second goal of the match. He ha hasn't been successful. The kick off the side of the boot toward the pocket. It's been a Halley once again trying to get rid of it. Picked up by Smith. He balks out of trouble uh, very cleverly. Hooks around with the left foot. It's toward the goal square. And the mark taken by uh, the defender, Darrell Gerlach. Ever-reliable Gerlach in the back pocket for Essendon now, kicking out from the square. Missed kick 
Ball dropping short, a chance here for Theodore. He's being held, the, hovering over the ball. Play on was a call by umpire Della. Now he awards the free kick, and it's going to Eston Barry Davis. Davis, play still in the back pocket area as Davis comes in now with a high punt kick. Floats out towards the centre wing, they fall. Picked up here by Basanko, couldn't quite get rid of it for his side. He gets around now onto the left foot. Hooks one back in the direction of St Kilda's half-forward plank. Fields under it. Ross Smith there, the ball punched away. Down to where Dittrich has bumped the side here by McKenzie. Picked up by Fletcher. Kicked up towards centre wing, driven further forward by Basanko. Up towards the half-forward plank, punched away here by Halley. They're punched away once again by Ross Smith. Up they go, punched on here by Pays. Up towards centre half-forward, in the back, and Williams goes down and he'll take the free kick. Barry Breen a bit anxious there, anticipating the pick-up of Williams, and Williams didn't take the ball, was pushed down by Breen, and so Essendon's defenders turned them out again. There's the kick from Williams, back toward the centre of the ground. At the, in the pack was Culling, he just about took the mark, been pushed out there, and pushed further forward, kicked over to Trot. Trot takes the mark right in the centre of VFL Park. Stewie Trot, number seven of St Kilda, getting a 15-yard penalty here. Umpire Della whistling them back. Parks wouldn't come back on the mark, and now Trot plays on. A long kick down toward the forward pocket area. There's a chance for St Kilda, but it's uh, no, no mark taken by either player. A chance for Lawrence. He sidestepped beautifully, picks up at the back of Halley. A little left foot kick coming in, a bad kick, looking for Alan Davis. Found the boundary line. No free kick, a throw-in will take place. The time clock showing six and a half minutes gone in the first quarter, and St Kilda with the only score on the board. One straight goal. Essendon have not yet scored. 20 yards out from St Kilda's goal. Halley in front, McKenzie from behind. The ball tapped down. Smith goes for the kick off the ground. It rebounds Eston's way, driven up towards the centre. The player's moving back on it now. Punched away here. Vasenko gives chase. Can't uh, accept the bounce cleanly. Picked up here and kicked out by Judson. Socket by Judson once again up towards the half-forward flank. Davis in control. 75 yards out from goal. He lets fly into the forward pocket. And Rodney Galt. Galt will be paid. In comes umpire Della. Tight shot, Frank, very tight. Yes, a tight shot, Bones. Uh, no loose men floating around. The Aston defenders right on their toes. They've picked up all these and killed the forwards. Rodney Galt puts it, boot the ball. It's going right through. It's a killed now. Through a great goal by Rodney Galt. Move along to two straight goals. Essendon yet to score. 12 points of difference. Seven and a half minutes into the first term. I was quite pleased to see Galt pick that uh, goal there, Frank, because we have seen him throughout this season and he has the bad habit of not looking at the ball as he's coming in to kick. That time, head right over the ball in Royce Hart fashion, steered it right through from a very difficult shot at goal, and now St Kilda, two goals in front, Essendon have not yet scored. We've been playing seven, seven minutes, 50 seconds, all but eight minutes gone as McKenzie taps down. It's been kicked hurriedly up toward Pasenko, a chance for Noonan. Noonan coming through half forward, straightens up, shoots at goal, the kick's offline, and only one point will result. So that is Essendon's uh, first score on the board. Alan Noonan having plenty of time to steady and have the shot, but uh, I just imagine all these players will be, uh, I'll say, rather nervous in this opening to the game, which has now gone eight minutes. The players will settle down eventually, but it's been a very bright opening, and St Kilda now leading 12 points to Essendon's one. Bob Murray defends towards the half-back flank on the outer side. The ball tapped to the ground, tapped further forward here by Glenn Elliott, picked up by Theodore. He gets through nicely. Oh, a bad. missed kick off the side of the boot, right across towards centre-half back. Taken here by Judson. A long kick now up towards centre-half forward. Williams going back on it, but he allows his teammate in Schultz to come in and take the mark. Good football there by Judson, Frank. He got, uh, got to that ball very quickly. There's the kick coming up towards centre-half forward. Oh, Noonan pushed in the back on that occasion. It has, uh, Grinder has been awarded the mark. Here's Grinder now, going back from centre-half forward. Well, there's a 15-yard penalty. Theodore ran across the mark. Now, this brings Grinder within, a, uh, I would say, 50 yards of goal, every chance of a score. Gary Grinder coming in, trying for a goal for Essendon. The kick's a poor one. It's high, it's on line, but it won't make the distance as Murray comes out. And Kevin Neal in front takes the strong mark. Oh, it could have been a 15-yard penalty coming up there. Well, the... There could be more than that, too. Uh, Goal umpire coming out, also the field umpire coming out. Speaking there to young Ken Roberts, rather foolishly giving away a 15-yard penalty to Kevin Neal. Well, that would be about the 15-yard penalty we've seen today, Jack. We've only played nine and a half minutes. 
as Neil comes in, the punt kicks are wobbling, one Dickrich in front, a chance for in the second grab, couldn't get to it, a one-handed punch here across the wood, Schultz, picked up by Neville Fields, he's clearing from half forward, flank, he heads for home, Blethens down there, he should start the shot, it's bounced through, it's a great goal, kicked by Neville Fields, so Eston open their account, goal-wise that is, they move along to 1-1, seven points, now trailing St Kilda's score of two straight goals, the Saints on 12 points. Sparkling football there by Field to get that goal. The kick must, when he picked it up, he must have been about 60 odd, 70 odd yards out. Uh, you could see him drop it across his boot to get it, to get it back online. And Bob Murray and Jeff Blethen uh, were out too far to take or to compete for a mark. The ball over their heads and bouncing through for Essendon's first goal, kicked by Neville Field. The Ruckman rise again, McKenzie winning in the ruck. It's been tapped on once again. It's been punched on, they're playing basketball at present. Coming out, we see Smith pick up. On the left foot he goes, it's going across toward Fletcher. Nancy comes on the scene, but Fletcher the ball first and taking the mark. He is in the centre of VFL Parkway, Lee and Ken Fletcher now heads for home. Oh, with a wobbling kick from the side of the boot. It's dropping badly, no uh, forwards of Essendon in position to take it. Judson clearing once again, kicks up toward Galt. Galt uh, handling Smith on that occasion, but Smith winning out. A left foot kick towards centre half forward, and Noonan, oh, he dropped an easy one. Allowed Spasango to come in, the ball socket off the ground. It was an opportunity there for Delahunty, being picked up by Pays. Given across to Cowboy Neil, slammed up towards the half. Oh, really oh Blake mark. Davis nearly pull it down, but play on for Davis. Into the forward pocket the leads by Lawrence from behind it's Daniel pushed away here by Breen Green's in the forward pocket he puts it up towards the goal square is drifting round they fly touch oh boy what football one point for the Saints 2-1 13 points that's St Kilda's score six points ahead of Eston who are on 1-1 seven points good thinking there by Rossi Smith knew he couldn't outmark Gerlach didn't have the spring on him but got up to spoil and forced it through for one point which adds another one as Frank has told you to the Essendon uh, to the St Kilda total the kick Coming in towards centre half forward. Grinder couldn't take it, a chance for Stevens. Coming through the pack box, nicely out of trouble. Straightens up, shoots at goal, but it's a bad kick for Stevens, that is. Gerlach can't mark, and a throw in will take place. Only about five or six yards around from the behind post. St Kilda kicking to the main score bend, uh, scoreboard end of VFL Park. The throw in taking place. Mackenzie and Galt doing battle. Mackenzie taps down nicely, taken by Smith, who was pushed in the back and will take the free kick. Well, Smith is only some 15 yards out from the St Kilda goal. And the Eston defence certainly has been under a tremendous amount of pressure early in the first uh, quarter. Up they go, now it's trot in front, looked like he was being held. The ball comes to the ground here, picked up and kicked left foot by Elliott. And a nice tidy mark taken down there by Gerlach. Playing a good first quarter, Darrell Gerlach in the back pocket now. Kicking out toward the member side of the ground. Now the kick's not a good one. Up toward Minot, who spoils on that occasion. Been picked up and kicked hurriedly over towards full forward. Don McKenzie's there, but the bounce beats him. Coming out, Barry Davis lost possession, picked up by Williams. He drives back toward Fletcher. A new battle punched away here by Mansley. First to recover Davis to do the shepherding. Mansley took his time. Court dropped the ball. Play on once again. Well recovered by Mansley. Across towards Davis. Kicked up towards the square area. It's going to bounce through. It has. It's four points. Kicked by Alan Davis. So now St Kilda. 12, and 12 minutes and 40 seconds into the game. It's St Kilda on 3 1, 19 points. Two straight goals ahead of Eston's tally of 1 1, 7 points. Well, Ken Fletcher gave John Manzi something to think about there, a little bit of pace. Uh, Manzi recovered from their personal duel to recover the ball, picked up, and was strolling into a goal. And the pace of Fletcher picked him up in the space of about 15 yards. And he was lucky or unfortunate he didn't get the free kick, but St Kilda have goal through the boot of Alan Davis. There's the kick, it's on the ground. They're all kicked off the ground by Minot. This will be penalised. And Essendon will take the free kick, and the free kick uh, will go to Graham Schultz of Essendon. Only about 15 yards on the defensive side of the centre. Schultz now will drive back to a very congested forward line. Schultz coming across the centre with a drop punt kick. It's at the back of the pack where Judson is waiting for the crumb to come down. It doesn't come to Judson, comes to Pays. Pays hooked back toward the centre wing. Theodore waits for the crumb. It's come down. It's been picked up here by Roberts. He was caught. Play on's called. Davis picks up. Pushed in the back, but play goes on. Pays uses his weight where he should have tackled. Play still going on. Uh, Halley come on the scene a little bit late. It's rough, tough football on the member's side wing. Here we see Pays lose it once again. And players diving, trying to get possession. And coming out with the ball, Glenn Elliott of St Kilda. From half-back flank across towards centre, half forward, the lead and the mark to Barry Breen. Plays on now. Could have gone for the hand pass, but went for the long kick up towards Ditrich. It's there, he can't get the chest mark. Daniels in, in comes Lawrence. It's been kicked through by Peter Daniel for one point. Once again, good football by the St Kilda forwards, Frank, to get these points up. Jack, they're coming down the field so quickly, it doesn't matter. The uh, last line of the Essendon defence is under tremendous position. Um, 
pressure because once the ball hits the goal square, there's at least two, three or four St Kilda players racing downfield and uh, making it uh, very, very hot for the Don. Still, their defence is playing quite well at the moment. Aston on 1-1, 7 points, 13 points behind St Kilda's tally of 3 2 as Daniel uh, puts a kick and it's a shocker, it's not a good one at all. It's out of bounds on the ball, it's a free kick and it'll be taken by John Manzi. Well, Manzi normally, well, we've seen him kick some beautiful goals this year, Frank, but he'd have to be out around about the 65, possibly 70-yard mark. Oh, I'd a, give him a, a chance, Jack, of making the distance. I'd give him a chance on some of the kicks I've seen him put in, but this is a be a big goal if he gets it. Manzi coming in, using a drop punt kick. It's from the side of the boot, so there's no score in that one. Out of bounds on the full, and Peter Daniel will take this free kick uh, just after giving one away. So Daniel, this time, will make sure he keeps the ball in play. He's coming nearly up the centre of the ground. They wait for it down there. Quinter got his hands to it, came down to fields, taken by Williams. A wild hand pass gets it back oh, across the Quinter. A good tackle here. Shot across towards fields. He was held and never fails to take the free kick. Gets set a half back. And yet another 15 yard penalty. No, no 15 yard no, penalty. I didn't, I didn't think that was uh, penalisable, Frank. That one. Uh, he fell over the, the boot of Rossi Smith. The short pass comes in, and now Essendon can move forward. This kick should land right up around about the half forward zone. It's over half forward. Players coming out to meet at Bletham, waiting for the crumb at the back of the pack, but a free kick has been awarded to Kevin Neal of St Kilda. He hooks around a short one. It's a little bit high. On the scene comes Fletcher, but Pace has taken the mark. He's playing on. His kick has been smothered. Comes to Minot. Minot swings around from centre wing. Kicks one downfield. A chance for Barry Davis. He picks up now. He's on the left foot, but straightens up for a right foot pass. In towards the uh, boundary he goes to find Fletcher. From the half forward flank now, Fletcher puts the ball across towards centre half forward. He was looking for Noonan down there. The hands go up. It's been tapped Good cleverly football. on. Here's a go for Schultz. He lines them up, but the kick, it's offline and registers one point. The Don's moving along to one goal, two, eight points. St Kilda on 3 2 20, so 12 points the difference, 16 and a half minutes into the first quarter. Waiting for the fullback, Bob Murray, to come down and get this ball to bring it back into play, and I will imagine he'll go to the outer side. The wind is favouring the scoreboard end, I said, to which uh, St Kilda is kicking. That's the Channel 7 scoreboard end, Jack. That is the Channel 7 scoreboard, Frank, and this is the big replay coming to you from Channel 7. Bob Murray, St Kilda's full back, has fought back from a serious injury and is playing quite well for St Kilda. There's the kick from Murray, not as good as I've seen him put in, but it's a good kick just the same. It floats out toward half-back line. It's a chance for Tudnam, he's caught round the neck, I would say a free kick. Tudnam uh, had a good shot at that one, caught too high, and Des Tudnam from this position would be given every chance of a score. He'd only be 50 yards out, and Tudnam every chance, as I've said, of scoring. And I know one fellow who would be really trying for a goal, Des Tudnam, captain coach of Essendon. Tudnam coming in now. His kick won't make the distance. It's swinging away towards the behind post. Up in the forward pocket. Punched out here. Back towards centre half forward. Here's an opportunity for Ellie to get clear under a lot of pressure. Gets rid of it. In comes Trot being held. The umpire's whistle sounds. And Stuart Trot to take the free kick. Well, the pressure once again to go off the St Kilda defence. As Trot heads right down the centre of the ground. Up towards the centre position. A chance for the oh, good mark here towards... Uh, Theodore, I should say, and Theodore has been paid the mark more at the centre half back than anything else. Punt kick, drop punt kick out towards half forward flank. Golf flies, can't bring it down the ball onto the ground here, being pushed along. They're waiting for it to come out. It's been picked up here and driven by Smith across towards centre half forward. They're punched away here from Noonan, taken and lost by Ross Smith. Noonan in there, the ball punched further forward into the open territory. An opportunity for Colling, which he accepts, puts one out for Barry Green on centre wing, and Green showing a lot of pace to make that mark takes it on uh, just 10 yards over centre wing. Barry Breen using a lot of the ground out here, looking for Travers Pays, but that was a bad kick. It's bounced out on uh, out of bounds. I don't think there's any free kick in that, Frank. No, a throw-in will take place. I was just about to say that Breen is using a lot of the uh, centre-half forward area. In fact, he's covering right across the ground. There's Halley flying high, got the tap down too. It's been picked up and hurriedly kicked up here uh, up toward, by Wilson up toward Fields. Fields getting to the ball now and uh, has been held, will take the free kick. Neville Fields, half-back flank on the outer side. The left foot of Fields now, swinging in towards centre-half forward. No mark to Stewie Trot, coming through now. This is good football, Park being held. Could have been uh, watered the free kick on that occasion. That could have been another one also, but play on still being called. Park being held by Elliott, and he, Elliott will take the free kick. A good tackle by Elliott, Frank. Very strong tackle by Glenn Elliott. 
Clark. A lot of players are rather loath to grab hold of the arm of a fellow in possession of the ball, but that was a good tackle. And they loath to pick up their men. Here's an opportunity. Stuart Trott, miles away from anyone, runs up towards the half forward flank, goes for the goal square. Dittrich is down there, so too is McKenzie. He spoils. The ball ricochets out towards the forward pocket. Davis is there, picked up here by Stevens. He's against the boundary line. He has a snap at goal. It's across the face of goal and registers one point. Score nine and a half, 19 and a half minutes into the first quarter is St Kilda on 3-3, 21, Eston 1-2, 8 points. Peter Daniel now kicking to the outer side, looking for the tall Ruckman out there, but the Ruckman can't uh, make contact with that. Halley pushed in the back by Manzi will take the free kick. Halley now about to play on, he swings back now toward the centre of the ground with a high kick. Up toward the middle they come, the two eights, Elliot and Tuddenham do battle, it's been punched down to Davis, he picks up, Davis of St Kilda, kicks high toward the other Davis, he's on the other outside, but Fletcher chips in and takes the mark for Essendon. He's playing quite well, Fletcher. There's, that top of that ground's very slippery, I noticed him slip as he went in to kick the fields, Fields picks up, got a hand pass back, and on they go, Essendon coming forward up, but in the way, Rodney Galt of St Kilda. Galt on half back on the outer side. Clayton's up to, I would say, going towards true centre-half forward. A wobbly one. In front is Halley, going to spoil there and successfully was uh, Theodore. Picked up by Williams, a hand pass out towards Fletcher. And Fletcher from half-back flank puts it across towards centre-half forward. Taken here by Elliott, kicked back towards centre-half. Four for St Kilda, up they went. It was Breen who got one hand to it. Gets a hand pass across there towards Pays. Pays whips it back towards Davis. Davis directly in front, 45 yards out. It's on its way. He's hooked it slightly, I think. Yes, he has. He's offline. One point. He's giving them a lot of drive, Davis, Frank, isn't he? He's getting that, getting that ball deep into the forward line, and his own personal score at this stage is one goal, one out of St Kilda's total of three goals, four. Essendon on the board with one, two. Daniel kicking in once again. He's not kicking that well. He's wobbling the ball about a lot, but it's over to a big pack of players where it's punched on by Wilson, punched on again. Alan Davis once again with the opportunity, but he allows Galt to take the ball. Galt swinging around now, goes for a hand pass. I thought he should have got the kick in. His uh, ball's been tapped on further forward. Ross Smith gets away from Fields and looks like he may have been held, but play on as Manzi picks up. Manzi kicks in toward the forward zone. Stevens can't get to the flight of the ball. And a good mark taken in defence by Barry Davis of Essendon. Davis only 20 yards away from St Kilda's goal, indicating he'll go right down the ground now, directs it more towards the centre wing, the pack wait for it down there, up they go, Gold goes to spoil, Fletcher could be paid that one, yes. by Bill Della indicating a mark to Ken Fletcher. Time clock showing, 21 minutes and 40 seconds gone of the first term on the big replay at Channel 7. Well, Fletcher coming right across the ground here, found uh, Smith, Smith got out of trouble nicely, a high kick up towards Noonan at centre half forward, the spoils not successful. The mark has been paid to Alan Noonan at centre-half forward, 80 yards out from goal. The lead will be from Bleffen. He's going now toward the forward pocket. Murray's coming onto him now. Bleffen and Murray all in the back, I would say, to Bob Murray, but wasn't paid. Not paid. The ball in Eston's forward pocket. Murray up and back in business now. Onto the left foot, kicks it up towards Stuart Trott. He Good taps play. the ball along beautifully here towards Elliot. Elliot pushing the ball along in front of him. Uh, pushes it once again. It ricochets from Noonan. Noonan and Trott do battle out there. It's Noonan who gets it across. And the mark missed by Ross Smith. Into the forward pocket picked up here and driven out of trouble by Judson up towards center wing Williams coming in the ball bounces from his chest taken here by Neville Fields he runs up towards center half forward 70 yards out from goal he gets a hand pass across another quick hand pass across by Greta is taken by Tundam lost by him too picked up here by Cowboy Neil and St Kilda out of trouble once again there's the kick up toward Theodore and Davis Theodore into the back of uh, Barry Davis and Barry Davis will take the free kick this is right in the centre of VFL Park, Waverley, where Davis will take this kick. He's kicking to a congested forward line, but there's Delahunty leading to the outer side flank. Nobody on him. Delahunty taking the mark. And Hugh Delahunty coming goalward with a kick that travels up toward Wilson. Wilson in the, in the back of the pack, but the mark has been taken by Ken Roberts. Roberts only 25 yards out. Essendon wanting their second goal badly. Essendon on 1-2, 8 points. St Kilda, 3-4, 22 points. And it's Roberts. Dead in front of goal from 25 yards out. The time clock showing that 23 minutes and a bit have gone. As Roberts comes in, shoots at goal, the umpire says, all clear. And Essendon have posted their second goal through the boot of young Ken Roberts. Badly needed goal by the Dons. And it's one that's brought them right back into business. And Kilda in the first term have been the better side. I'd say perhaps a, a three-goal better side than Essendon. And yet at this stage we find that there's only eight points in it. St Kilda on 3-4-22, Essendon 2-2-14 two, two, and 23. Three minutes, 40 seconds into the first term. Umpire Bill Della putting the ball down once again as Diderich comes in. McKenzie, no result from that uh, set of bounce. It's on the turf where players battle, pushed out by Colling, picked up and hurriedly kicked 
out toward the half forward zone Judson in front score on that occasion but Judson quick to recover he's got the better of Wilson here I would say he could get the free kick has been awarded the free kick Wayne Judson's playing very well for St Kilda in the back pocket uh, Wilson on the mark there a 15 yard penalty coming up I didn't think that was quite quite right St Kilda player had the ball anyhow Judson will take the 15 yards which will bring him down to uh, the half back flank area Judson coming in looking for a mark by Breen up on the half forward zone at centre half forward Breen forward nudged in the, in the back by Williams comes down here taken by Schultz Schultz from centre half back up towards centre half forward in front there is gold Cowboy Neil went to spoil the ricochets out here with Tuddenham's got an opportunity Elliot watching him like a hawk Tuddenham uh, playing for the free kick and he'll get it Elliot right into the back of Des Tuddenham Tuddenham at centre half forward Players streaming downfield onto Eston's forward line as Tuddenham comes across the ground. The kick is smothered, taken here by Neville Field, recovers his balance, slams it up towards the region of the point area down there, taken by Robert Murray. Left foot kick into open territory on the half-back flank. Trottle do battle down here with Park, but it's the boundary line that wins, so a throw-in to take place 50 or 60 yards out from the Don's goal. St Kilda 3-4-22, Essendon 2-2-14. Eight points the difference at the 25-minute mark of the first term. We're moving into time on where Judson is battling. Colin going in for St Kilda now. He can't pick up. Wilson for Essendon. And Dinerich, and now it's Trot. They all come on the scene. Trot pushed in the back. His may be awarded the free kick. Yes, there it is. Joey Trot taking the free kick for St Kilda in the back pocket position. He's on the members' side and remembering that St Kilda are kicking to the main scoreboard end of Vierthold Park. He slips as he kicks and Don McKenzie in the way. takes the easy chest mark. Don McKenzie, half forward playing for Essendon. We'll be looking for an Essendon mark. Left them about to lead. And now the kick is a short one. A very short one to Fields. Fields picks up. He swings round on the right foot this time. Kicks in toward the goal. It's within 30 yards of goal, but that's St Kilda's fullback. Bobby Murray in the way. Well, Murray will be... be interesting to see what he does, whether he'll go right down the centre, which he's done. A nice torpedo punt kick. Davis is down there from behind. It was oh, Della Honey, but a good mark to Alan Davis. Davis... 10 yards of defensive side of the centre line. Oh, no, not for long. Out towards centre half forward. Punched away by Williams. An opportunity here for Halley. He gets back onto the right foot. Swings back onto the left. Gets back to the right once again. Out towards Davis on centre wing. And the mark taken by Barry Davis. Barry Davis about to swing in now toward the centre half forward area. A drop kick, a good one too. Coming up with a big pack fly. Neil spoils the pack. Picked up by Ditterich. His kick coming downfield back towards Williams and uh, Brin. Neither can take it. It's been picked up. And a clearing kick coming back toward the centre of the ground. Tip in well with Stewie Trot. Good football there by Trot. Beat four opponents on that occasion to get his kick. It's come toward Minot who uh, has the ball taken away from him by Halley. It's on the ground once again when Manzi pushes it out. Here's a chance for Stevens. Spins out of trouble at half forward. A left foot kick coming downfield and Lawrence just an easy one. Picked up here by No Girl. That can't pick up yet. Oh, Galt kicked the ball out of his grasp and now Galt kicks a goal to register one point only. Well, uh, let's go back on that passage of play, Jack. Uh, a simple mark dropped by Barry Lawrence, one that should have been held. And then we saw Rodney Galt coming in, and uh, I would say a free kick should have been paid there, going on the decisions that have gone on beforehand. But the end result, one point trot, using a lot of pace and marking the kick in. And Darryl Gerlach in the hands of the trainers, the Essendon trainers, only 25 yards out from goal. They'll have to get a, another fella down there to take his place as the play goes on. And Ross Smith has taken the mark. Well, that should have been Gerlach's opponent, but they haven't been quick enough to cover the loss of Gerlach so far. And now we see Smith only 25 yards out from goal and remembering that Rossi Smith already has one goal to his credit. And St Kilda looking for Ross Smith's second goal and to push their total along. The kick is a good one. That's a goal. There's no risk about that one. And Ross Smith has moved St Kilda's score on to four goals, five, 29 points. Essendon trailing two goals to 14 points. The time clock showing you 28 minutes exactly have gone in the first term. Darrell Gerlach still in the hands of the trainers down there. It appears he may have suffered cramp or an ankle injury. I'm not too sure of this, but uh, be a big loss. He's in pain, as you can see. And nobody has picked up Ross Smith in the forward pocket. They are now. Kenny Fletch is coming downfield. Frank, I've just picked it up. Up they go. Dittrich flies high, gets a nice punch out here towards Davis. Davis puts one to within 55 yards of goal. Lawrence doing battle down there. Punched away by Daniel, pushed along by the same player. Ross Smith comes in here, but it's been taken by Barry Lawrence. He kicks the ball towards Green. If Green can get to him, get it through. Got he it. cuts it. Did he make contact? He has. Oh. Kicked by Barry Green. St Kilda, two goals in the space of 40 seconds. Their score moves along to 5-5, 35 points. Essendon on 2-2, 14. Well, they were two good goals from the St Kilda viewpoint. And uh, as we did say, they were very 
very slow in getting someone, someone downfield to uh, replace the injured Daryl Gerlach, who is now limping upfield and evidently going up toward a forward pocket position. He's going up toward a half forward area now. The player going down is Schultz to take up a position in the back line to allow Fletcher to come back onto the wing. That play goes on at the centre bounces. Trot picks up with a high kick back toward the half forward zone. Minot at the back, spoiling the pack. It's been picked up by Williams and that's a dropping the ball decision if ever you've seen one. Johnny Williams caught, just dropped it cold. We know it's holding the ball, holding the man rule, but that was a free kick for actually dropping the ball. Here's a kick coming in now. Stevens waiting for somewhere to go. It's a kick that will travel up toward the square. Rodney Gold's in the square to fly high, hooked it in. Oh, it's spoiled by his own skipper in Smith. He dives on it now. Players, how he got it. Tried to try to hook it out. It's been picked up. Daniel Court just got the mood to it as Lawrence comes in. A big pack forming. And there's Lawrence holding that injured ankle. Have a look at that. Lawrence grasping the ankle, now will limp out, there he is. Just wondering if it was the ankle, Jack, or oh, the shin bone. He grabbed a little bit high there, but it's play going on. In St Kilda's goal square, up they go, punch down here. It's a bit of shepherding here and allowed Galt to come in. He couldn't pick up the ball, taken and kicked along the ground. It's been picked up here by Stevens. He lets fly it, goal, it's one point. No, it's not. Out of bounds on the fall. So St Kilda still on 5-5, 35, and it's Eston 2-2, 14, and that's the score at quarter time. Umpire Bill Della now commencing the second quarter at VFL Park, Waverley. Essendon at the change, lost Daryl Gerlach, uh, and John Casson has come on the field to take his place. Play going on his pace, tries to force the ball out of a pack, but as you can see, a big pack forming. Umpire Della will have no other alternative but to bounce. Oh, a bit of pushing and shoving going on. Possibly a free kick will come out of it. Uh, yes, there it is. Uh, Alan Davis being <laughs> told, I thought McKenzie was going the wrong way there for a moment too, Alan Davis being penalised on that occasion and Don McKenzie to take the kick. From centre half back, uh, another 15 yard penalty coming in and it could be here, let's wait and see, it's some Pardella talking to Alan Davis. Rossi Smith talking to Alan Davis too, having a few words to say to him, giving away the free kick and now giving away 15 yard penalty. Well it's a decent sort of 15 yard penalty too because it's uh, Alan Davis about uh, 12 yards over the centre line on uh, Eston's attacking zone now as the kick comes up towards centre half forward. Punched away here by Glenn Elliott. Picked up and hand passed across. There was an opportunity there for Tudnam. A chance here for Fields but it's Trot who soccer's the ball along the ground. Secures, gets booted the ball. Puts it up towards centre half forward. Williams gives chase. Breen's there also. Tackles Williams. Didn't have the ball but play on this call. If a hand pass comes out here into no man's land and this beautifully taken here by Theodore, he in turn puts it across towards Green, Green on half forward flank, hooks the ball up in the direction of the goal square, Casson's there, flies, comes down towards Gold, he goes without the ball, tapped here towards Lawrence, Lawrence being uh, held and Lawrence finally pushing in the back and the free kick going Eston's way and will be taken by Helly. We must remind you also that Barry Lawrence came limping out of a pack in the first quarter and I was interested to see if he would uh, remain on the field, well that he has done and uh, that was Lawrence giving away that free kick. Now it's coming downfield. A chance for Davis. McKenzie jumping in first. Picked up by Manzi. A high kick back toward the full forward zone. Lawrence in there in the front. Casson came on the scene. Couldn't take the mark. Hit the chance now. It's picked up by Stevens. He's balking around all the opposition. Swings back to the left foot. In fact, he's run himself upfield uh, about 40 yards. Picked up by Trott now in the forward pocket. Trott coming into an open goal. Shoots from a bad angle. And it's good. A goal to Stewie Trott off St Kilda. And St Kilda move their scorer along from the quarter time score of 5 5. And they will move on to 6 5. But this football coming to you on the big replay from Channel 7. That was great football by Stuart Trott. Jack, the minute that Stevens looked like getting that ball there, Trott took off from about 50 yards away up in the wing, uh, positioned himself, and Stevens didn't see him for quite a while, but when Stevens finally saw him, he endeavoured to get a pass across. It wasn't a good pass, but once Trott got it, he used his pace, and uh, it was an excellent goal. Tapped away down here towards Tudnam. Tudnam hooks the ball high towards the half-forward flank. Play on the outer side of the ground. Judson, a good player for St Kilda Marks. Well, Wayne Judson being brought up the field and into the game. Here's the kick by Judson toward half forward. The pack flies. Smith in front couldn't take it. Kicked off the ground by Ross Smith toward the boundary line. With a chance now. It's been hooked up. Another chance for Stevens on the left foot. He hooks back in toward the goal. The player following at that moment was Davis, but he recovers very quickly. Barry Davis of Essendon getting a left foot kick away upfield. It's up toward Manzi. Manzi coming through, trying to control the ball. He picks up a left foot snap back downfield. No mark. Play on the call. Picked up by Halley. Halley drives now towards centre half back. And a high one. They wait for it down there and a good mark taken by Glenn Elliott. Well, there were some doubts about the fitness of Elliott, but uh, there's no doubt today, that's for sure. A left foot kick towards Stevens in the forward pocket. Casson giving him too much latitude, infringes and uh, holding the main decision and the kick will be going towards John Stevens. 
forward pocket area, 45 yards out from goal. Well, Casson has taken the place of Gerlach in the back pocket area and uh, possibly a little bit new to the position. Giving away that free kick here to Stevens, who has uh, been a good player all year for St Kilda. And now we see Stevens from this angle, a rather tight shot, coming in now, having a shot at goal, looking for St Kilda's seventh goal. It's a, long, it's a long kick, and it's accurate too, and St Kilda have posted their seventh goal. Seven goals, five now, 47. Essendon trailing badly, two goals, two, 14 points. Not only trailing badly, Jack, but they're playing poorly too. Uh, St Kilda showing a lot more dash, and I would say the biggest difference between the sides at the moment is the work of the St Kilda little men. Uh, Eston small men have hardly been sighted, whereas Smith, he kicked two goals in the first quarter. He's been well backed up by Theodore and um, Stevens, taken here by Grinter. A high kick over centre half forward, working its way down towards the pocket. Judson's here. It's Schultz who pushes the ball away from him. Bretham in there, uh, puts the ball onto the ground. He's uh, been picked up here, been put across towards Murray. Murray up towards the centre wing position. Grinter couldn't hone to the ball cleanly, taps it along neatly here. Intercepting was Carl Dittrich. He scoops it out beautifully towards Smith. The hand pass is ineffective. It's been taken and lost by Wilson. He was held, and uh, Wilson will take the free kick on Eston's half-forward flank. Play on the outer side of the ground. The Dons trailing by 23 points. There's the kick coming in towards centre-half forward. There's pushing and shoving in the pack, but not penalised by the umpire. That could be a free kick. A uh, player there, leg going through the pack was Glenn Elliott, and he will take this free kick. I would say is about is halfway between centre half back and the uh, true full forward position or a full back position. His kick out towards Alan Davis toward the boundary line. It may be too long for Davis. He's trapped it just inside the line. Picks up on the left foot, looking for Galt. The kick going that way and a beautiful mark taken by Smith. He plays on now. Essendon and Smith. This is driving downfield with a long kick back toward Elliot. Elliot's punched away by Tuddenham. Picked up here and kicked and kicked over toward the uh, half forward area. Let's play on as Johnson comes on the scene once again. He picks up. No, I'm sorry. It was. Sanko picks up and kicks back towards Alan Davis. They fly high and Alan Davis and McKenzie. McKenzie going down, holding his knee on that occasion. And Davis playing on, looking for Barry Breen. But it's not finding Breen. It's Barry Davis coming out to take the relieving mark for Essendon. Davis at centre-half back. The Eston side trailing by 33 points as Davis puts a floating punt. Up towards Eston's half-forward flank. Comes down to the ground, taken here by Park. Ran into the trouble. It was a good tackle down there. Manji loses it. So too does Grinter. The ball onto the ground. Park's trying to pick it up here. Taken away by Neville Fields on Eston's half-forward flank. Kicked up towards the pocket. The lead and the pass is excellent play to Mark. Taken down there by Bleffin. Nearly sport by you, Delahunty there, Frank. Uh, Delahunty was unsighted as far as Bleffin was concerned. And they all but collided. But luckily for Essendon, uh, it's Bleffin with this shot. A long shot at goal, though. Uh, very difficult angle. There's the shot from Blethen from the side of the boot slightly. Torpedoing toward the goal. Punched through by Diderich for one more point to the Essendon score. So Essendon move along now to 2 3 15. St Kilda on 7 5 47. Six and a half minutes into the second term. Good insurance football by Carl Diderich. Had an advantage in height. Had the run in but refused to go for the mark. And in actual fact, when he went to spoil, he tried to direct that ball through for a score for a point and was successful. I also noticed Barry Davis of Essendon in the hands of the trainers having some fingers taped up. As Cowboy Neal puts the ball back into play and the mark's taken down there by Stuart Trott. Trott, a good player for St Kilda so far, puts it out towards uh, Alan Davis on centre wing, trying to keep the ball in play. He's successful with that. Onto the left foot now, up towards the half forward oh. flank and stupid play. Cashin and a 15 yard penalty, that is ridiculous football by a young player in the final series. This team is in a tremendous amount of trouble. 32 points down, Casson infringing, pushing in the back and then giving away a 15-yard penalty. Stevens now driving with a long kick toward the goal square. It's floating toward Lawrence. Coming on the scene is Daniel. The pack is, oh, there's a, could have been a free kick either way there. Umpire down a call, play on. The ball's still near the boundary line. Might not try to hook it back into play, but Smith on the scene to spoil and the throw-in will result. Seven and a half minutes gone in the second term. This throw-in taking place, Minot. Uh, getting in position, but McKenzie with a big punch, hooked it over the back of the pack, picked up by Lawrence, he snaps it, goal, it could be another one, another goal, this time to Barry Lawrence of St Kilda, there's Lawrence, uh, quick, pulling up the socks, I did mention uh, he had injured his ankle in the first quarter, but he does appear to be uh, still favouring it slightly, didn't affect that shot at goal, and St Kilda moved their score on to eight goals five, Essendon on two goals three, so it's a big space in between the sides at present, and the present being eight minutes in the second term. Back to the centre, umpire Bill Della in control and the players certainly know that Bill Della's around doing a magnificent job so far tap down here right back in towards the pack the players come in only one uh, decision here and that's the bounce once again in the centre of VFL Park 
waiting on the bounce the Eston side in a lot of trouble trailing by six goals too the bounce comes up Dittrich with his eyes on it the tap down here on the second attempt comes out towards Theodore he's pushed in the back the ball back into the center here it's uh, been taken by Dittrich and a free kick going St Kilda's way and will be taken by Gary Collins Collins at center half back well, the ball being handed back now towards Stephen Theodore gets it across towards Pasanko. This will open the game up for St Kilda as Pasanko runs right up towards the centre wing. Nobody bothers to oh, come up to meet him. The kick off the side of the boot. If it stays in, it'll favour Manzi, which it does. Manzi from half forward. Plank goes for the placement up towards the forward pocket. Well, let's see the remark or out of bounds on the full. It doesn't really matter because it's Peter Daniel to take the kick. Peter Daniel looks as though he may swing the ball back in toward the centre, but I think that would be foolhardy. He should keep it on the member's side wing here. Daniel now with a kick that does favour the flank. It's a high one. Dittrich trying to get on the scene. And there is McKenzie. No mark taken. Picked up by Tuttenham. Smothered by Elliott. Picked up by Tuttenham. A hand pass to Park. Park coming through centre wing now with a kick travelling uh, downfield toward Grinder. Uh, Neil and Grinder and Kevin Neil winning out. I thought he may have nudged Grinder out, but he hasn't been penalised. His kick coming toward Travis Pays. It may bounce for Pays or it may not. It's bouncing badly for him. Coming on the scene was Park, but Pays on the left foot. Hooks round toward John Manzi. Manzi taking the mark. He could get a hand pass going here. There it is now. A hand pass come across to Theodore. Back towards Manzi. Manzi can't get it taken here. And kicked by Halley. Halley's kicked from the side of the boot. Towards centre-half back, looking for Noonan. Back towards centre-half forward. I should have said Judson there for St Kilda. His kick coming out toward Dinerich, and Dinerich should take this mark and play straight on. Here he comes now, cross half forward, up toward Barry Breen, leaning out and taking the mark in the forward pocket, playing on and stabbing at goal. It won't score, it's across the face of goal. Daniel giving chase, but the boundary line's there. No, trapped by Lawrence, hand pass to Smith. Smith coming into an open goal. The kick is smothered, good defensive football. There's still a chance for St Keller has been picked up here and kicked through by Rodney Galt. Yes, the goal to Rodney St Kilda starting to move right away. The Saints on 9-5, 59 points. Eston on 2-3, 15. So there it is, 44 points of difference. Ten and a half minutes into the second term. I'm just looking to see if John Casson has been moved. Frank, he's up toward the centre bounce. Have to try and pick up the positions of the players. It does appear that he has been moved upfield. Della Hunter has gone into the forward pocket. He's now minding Rossi Smith, uh, the St Kilda skipper. So it's uh, Casson up round the centre bounce now. We'll see what develops from this. Dideridge uh, missed the tap out there. It's favours Pays though. Pays coming in, being tackled by Tuttenham and Fields. Oh, there's a rough and tumble football out there. Umpire Della indicating a free kick to Travis Pays off St Kilda. Travis Pays now is uh, going the other way. Pays was in the pack, but he's not going to take the kick. And St Kilda now up towards half forward. Pushing in the back there was Williams Green going back to try and take the mark, but Williams will be paid the free kick. Umpire Della indicating that Williams was held on the arm by St Kilda's Barry Breen. John Williams at centre half back, putting the ball right up towards the centre. Collings in there from behind. Oh, Murray! One of the best mark to date so far, no worries about that. Murray coming right through and just gliding through the air and making it look just so simple that it doesn't matter. Bob Murray kicks a beauty too. It's right up towards centre half forward. Breen a chance for the mark in the second grab. He'll get it. And Barry Breen is at centre half forward. 60, 60 yards out, no more. And every chance of putting St Kilda's score along to 10-5. At the moment, they're on 9-5, leading Eston on 2-3. Waiting for the ball to come back towards Barry Breen. Should make the distance. There's a oh, slight breeze here, but... Uh, every chance of the distance, Frank, I would say. So accuracy is a thing as Breen puts it high into the air. It's starting to drift in. It won't make it. Off the hands of the pack it goes and uh, registers one point. It's the Dons on 2-3, 15 points. St Kilda on 9-6, 60. So 45 points of difference. And we're only 12 minutes and 20 seconds into the second quarter. Peter Daniel looking for somewhere to go with the kick in. It's a high kick going up towards centre half back. Pack forming, and the mark to the man in front, and the hand pass comes out to Wilson. There's a quick football here coming down. Phil Bazanko in the way, and it appears that Bethan has come out towards centre half forward. Frank, uh, that's how it looks from here. That kick coming up, Phil finding Stevens. Stevens playing on, playing on now from centre half forward with a kick that comes from the side of the boot. Favors Delahunty. Delahunty and Daniel in there giving chase for Essendon. Delahunty picks up, got a hand pass back to Daniel. Daniel now on the boundary line, also slips. Another hand pass is taken by Smith. His long hand pass coming across in the face of goals. Picked up and stabbed by Lawrence and he's missed. I could tell the moment he kicked it, he threw his hands to his head and he missed an easy, a rather easy shot at goal. And uh, St Kilda moved their score to 9-7-61, Essendon 2-3-15. The Essendon defence, too slow, both in movement and in thinking. 
but they're having trouble on their footing too, Frank. I noticed that each in turn, Daniel then Delahunty lost their footing, and uh, this did also bring about the opportunity for Ross Smith to smother the hand pass. Peter Daniel going right down the ground. John Williams down there pushing, but from the back came Halley. Dropped the setter, picked up and hand passed by Dittrich out towards the half forward flank. Manji does battle down here with Barry Davis. The ball going out of play, and uh, it's on St Kilda's half forward flank, or just halfway between half forward flank and uh, forward pocket some 45 to 50 yards out from their goal. Brian Minot of St Kilda and then Halley of uh, Essendon doing the ruck work. Tapped over the back by Minot too long there for the Rover but Smith coming on the scene. Here's a chance now. It's been picked up and snapped a goal by Stevens. It's going online but won't quite carry the distance. The pack fly and it's been forced through for one point only. Touched from the hands of the pack. There was an opportunity there for Galt to take the mark but he couldn't quite control it uh, before it got through the goals. So one point more to St Kilda's tally of announced 9 8 62 Essendon 2 3 15 the time clock showing 14 and a half minutes all but gone in the second quarter it's on the big replay of channel 7 you're watching this game Essendon and St Kilda torpedo punt kick Davis in front can't hang on to it comes down towards Tuddenham gets it across towards Wilson Wilson up towards the center and John Williams runs right across the center ring here a drop kick a long one too up towards the goal square up goes Cowboy Neil can't pick it up an opportunity here could be a free kick for in the back Blethen being pushed umpire Della coming in and indicating such was the case so Blethen now every chance of kicking uh, the Don's third goal he's only 15 yards out and dead in front the Dons needing a score, trailing by 47 points as Blethen comes in attempting to kick his first. He has, he puts it through. So the Eston scoreboard moves along to 3-3, 21 points, exactly 41 points behind St Kilda's total of 9-8-62. How long it is, uh, has it been, Frank, since uh, St Kilda, since Essendon got their uh, second goal? 23 minute mark of the first term Jack well they've been out of uh, the goals for a long time 20, 20... 22 minutes to be exact they've been out of out of the goal scene well there we are St Kilda now have uh, had their lead pegged back by six points 9 8 62 to 3 3 21 umpire Della back in the center and tud them trying the G side up and trying to lift them there's Halley coming in got the big knock too but taken it out here and a hurried kick by Pays on the left foot goes out toward the half forward zone Fletcher giving chase for Essendon has the ball bouncing nicely for him Stephen tackled but couldn't get there in time hand pass finds Della Hunty Della Hunty coming down toward half forward Blethen looking around looking for someone else to take the mark no players could do so it's on the ground where they're fighting for possession Tadenham coming on the scene umpire Bill Della will bounce at centre half forward for Essendon time clock showing 16 minutes gone in the second term Umpire Della coming on the scene now to bounce. Essendon trailing by 41 points. Galt taps down to Elliot. Elliot on the left foot kicks out towards Smith of Essendon. He's giving chase. The ball running badly for him. Davis coming on the scene, but Smith picking up, getting a hand pass back to Casson. Casson from centre wing driving back toward half forward. It's a good kick, and the pack form up, and the man going back is Rodney Galt and taking a nice mark. Galt just short of half back flank. Play on the outer side of the ground. Galt's kick should just about make the centre line. Pack moving in up there. It's a high kick. Hasn't got all that much difference. Halley's in there. So too is Dittrich. Punched away. It was Davis who tried to punch it away, but it's been picked up and kicked by Williams, but marked in defence by Gary Colling. Colling at centre-half back, swinging back toward the centre, looking for Pays. The kick won't quite find Pays. He's made it now. Could get a hand pass. No, well tackled on that occasion by Park. Coming in, picking up his Theodore. He got a hand pass back to Manzi. Manzi very cleverly tapped it out to Pays. Pays now going for a short one toward Breen. Breen won't get to it yet. Picked up here. It's a nice balk by Lawrence, giving the ball to Breen. Green in front from 40 yards out, shoots at goal. Essendon now going down by six points here as the goal comes up for Breen and St Kilda. And good football and a good piece of work there from Johnny Manzi. Yes, Manzi started all off. He was uh, in a heap of trouble himself, but tapped the ball on cleverly across towards Pays. And some great forward work saw the ball finally end up there with Barry Breen. And he put it through to once again take St Kilda to that 47-point lead of theirs. Essendon in all sorts of bother at the 17 and a half minute mark of the second term. Can Essendon fight? back can they reduce this big lead that St Kilda have it'll unfold in the next say 10 or more minutes of this second term the centre bounce has taken place and Dittrich on the second bite taps it down picked up by Smith driven back towards Kevin Neal wasn't paid the mark play on as the call a hand pass comes out nicely it's Fields of Essendon picking up and kicking goal into an open goal square he goes but can't control the kick out of bounds on the full and Bob Murray will take the free kick that's Murray in the back pocket to take this free kick Fields had all the time in the world there, nobody at home at all in defence for St Kilda, but his kick was offline, and now we see Murray with the uh, free kick kicking back towards half-back. 
Collings in there, so too is Grinter. Grinter sport the ball in the arms of Cowboy Neal. He's kicked a smothered also, taken away here by Parks. Parks from centre half forward now onto the left foot, lines him up. It's a nice That's piece a of play, goal. this one. That's a great goal by Parks. And the Dons now moving along to 4 3 27. But St Kilda on 10 8 68. So still. 41 points the difference. Good football there by Park Frank. Smothered, uh, smothered the kick of Neil. Uh, Neil's kick would have got over the centre line, but Park smothered it quickly, uh, picked it up very cleverly, used, a, I would say, a good 10 yards to get the kick in, and a well-placed drop kick found the goals, and Essendon uh, supporters will be quite happy with that result. Another goal on the board for them, but they're still trailing by 41 points. The centre bounce taking place. Halley once again getting the tap taken by Smith. His kick is smothered also. A pack of players going. That was a free kick on this occasion, I would say. I would say against Kenny Roberts to be uh, given to Glenn Elliott of St Kilda. Elliott only about 10 yards over the centre line on the defensive side with the kick. Here it comes now. It's up toward Breen. Breen in front of the pack, pushed out by McKenzie. Play on the call. Williams couldn't get the kick in, tackled by Minot. Minot can't do much either. Dinerich comes on the scene. A hand pass finds Breen. Breen in trouble. A hand pass over to Manzi. Manzi straightens up from half forward, goes for short one to Lawrence. Lawrence making his ground and a good mark. A good mark to Barry Lawrence. Well placed kick by Manzi. I thought for a moment that Manzi may have had a long shot at goal, but saw Lawrence with the opportunity of a short pass, and now Barry Lawrence, with this opportunity from 15 yards out, already to his credit, has one goal. So it's Barry Lawrence, every chance of kicking St Kilda's 11th goal. We're at the 19-minute mark, 50 seconds of the second term. It'll come up to the 20-minute mark as Lawrence comes in. St Kilda on 10-8. Can he make it 11-8? It's going goalward. There it is, 11-8, they've moved on now. Essendon down at lead. Uh, Essendon get a goal to kill to come back. And Essendon at this stage are holding this uh, good 47-point lead. The scoreboard in front of you, the time clock in front of you. 20 minutes and 10 seconds gone. And at this stage, and we say that many times, but football's a funny thing. Many things can happen in football. And we're waiting for Essendon to come up and do something. The biggest problem at the moment is that St Kilda are playing with a tremendous amount of confidence and of course the Dons at the moment are uh, finding very, very hard to get their teamwork going. Back to the crowded centre bounds, Galt playing with a lot of confidence, gets it down, taken here by Smith, the ball held to him by Stuart Trott, so once again another bounce at the 20 and a half minute mark of the second term. Umpire Bill Duller, the ruckman to do battle, Rodney Galt eyeing it off. In they come. Gold can't get to it. Whistle sounds, a free kick, and it'll be taken by big Carl Dittrich. Shepherding, he played that for. Dittrich now coming up, crossing half forward line with a long kick. Green in the van. Williams punching the ball away. It's been taken here by Halley. He springs round the left foot, got a hand pass back to Casson. Casson coming through half forward, or half back now. Up to half forward, and a good mark to Jeff Blethard. No, he hasn't played it. Play on his call. Must have touched the ground. Blethard playing for a free kick. Masenko trying to take the ball away from him. There's a free kick coming up. And this time the kick will be played to Essendon's Parks. Parks on centre wing, looking for a lead. It's a drop punt kick, going downfield. The man at the back is Neil, flying in the back, got one hand to it, couldn't take the mark. On the turf we see players struggling for possession. Fields is there, recovered quickly, picking up now on the left foot. Hooks back toward goal, it's going on line. It won't quite make the distance. Noonan can't take the mark. Goal spoiling and the throw-in will take place. Currently now 21 minute 40 second mark of the second term. That is on the channel's... Seven scoreboard, the scores, 11-8 to 4-3. The throw-in taking place. Noonan trying to grab it, does so, hooks it, goal, snaps it over his shoulder. That's a good goal to Alan Noonan. And the Dons now, from the foot of Alan Noonan, move along to 5-3-33. St Kilda, though, 11-8-74. Well, Jack, it'll be interesting to see if St Kilda can race uh, the ball down the other end from the centre bounce and reply. Well, they've done this on many occasions in this term. Well, we found that Blethen got a goal at the 15-minute uh, mark. Then Breen replied, then Park got one for Eston, then Lawrence came back, so now for St Kilda, and now we've got uh, Noonan uh, goaling for Eston from well, the bar bounce. Galt got the big tap down, taken here by Casson. Casson on half back, taking one bounce, crossing the centre line with a good kick, which will make half four, but Judson in the way for St Kilda. Well spoiled on that occasion. Hit the chance there for Grinter, couldn't control it. It's on the turf, a hand pass comes out. Hit the chance for St Kilda to take the ball away as Pays weaves his way through the pack. His kick goes straight across the face of goals toward Manzi. It'll bounce badly for all players. Manzi has the ball in front of him. It's on the ground where Noonan gives chase. Hooked it out nicely. A chance once again for Manzi, but the whistle sounded and will be a free kick to Essendon's Alan Noonan. Bob Murray being told by umpire Bill Della just what the free kick was for. Bob Murray pushing Alan Noonan in the back. Actually fell into him. Uh, couldn't help it. And now Noonan will have this long shot at goal from the forward pocket area. Alan Noonan. Kick the last goal. Could he make it two in a row? The kick on line, but 
No, just drifting slightly. The pack rise hides. Punched down. A chance for Smith. Blethen's there also. So is Basenko. It's been pushed out. A chance for Roberts. It comes out to Smith. He picks up a relieving kick. Not a long one. Up toward Trot. It's back though toward Smith. Making pace through half back now. Smith will about, just about make the centre line. Yes, that he does. A left foot kick up there. It's a chance there for Smith for Essendon. He slips on the turf once again. Got out of it nicely. A right foot kick up towards the half forward flank. They come in, but in the way is uh, Stuart Trot. There's the kick from Trot coming back toward the centre wing area and the mark taken by this veteran Don McKenzie of Essendon. Harry Breen giving him some attention there, making sure he can't break away with a hand pass. And Don McKenzie from this position, which is centre wing on the outer side. McKenzie going with a drop kick toward half forward. Up towards centre half forward. Oh, uh, Colin Shepherding there gets back into the play now. The ball in the middle, been scooped out here towards Judson. He puts it out towards the half back flank for some Kilda Fletcher's there. Or not Fletcher, I should say Casson. In comes Green. Green and Casson doing battle. Green being held uh, and uh, will take the free kick just about centre wing on the outer side of the ground. 24 and a quarter minutes into the second term. A few words said there between Barry Breen and John Casson. <laughs> a rather confident gesture there by Breen. But there's a kick coming upfield toward Ditterich. In the back there is Smith. Ditterich can't take the mark. It's caught by Smith. A chance there for Davis. Pushed the ball along in front of him, but now it's Barry Davis of Essendon. Essendon players not controlling the turf. They're slipping and sliding. Picked up by John Stevens. He's caught. Could have been a free kick to Stevens. Oh, Della set play on. It's a hand pass to Rossi Smith. He hooks it back to Barry Lawrence. Lawrence picks up his well tackle. Loses possession to Daniel. It's rough and tumble out there as the ball is pushed out towards Schultz. A hand pass finds Barry Davis. He slips through the pack and a long kick downfield coming down towards Blethen. It's on the centre wing now. We see Blethen balk nicely. Swing around on the right foot. Straight up. Going looking for a teammate. He can't find one. The man in the way. Rodney Goldison killed her. Yes, Gold at centre half back. Keep keeping the Dons out. Rodney Galt, right foot, drop punt kick towards centre wing. Parks is down there, everyone up, tapped down. A chance here for Manzi, had the fumbles, recovers, he loses it once again, but gets the ball onto the left foot. But they can't do much about it. It's taken away here by Don McKenzie. He puts the punt kick to within 45 yards of Eston's goal. It's Murray in front, spoils the ball onto the ground, back towards Murray. He gets rid of it quickly, picked up here. It's Andy Wilson for Essendon. He's in front of goal, only 40 yards out onto the left foot. Here's a go here, up towards the goal square. Kenny Roberts, and it's out of the ground. And through it goes, and the Dons now moving along to 6-3 as Kenny Roberts kicks his second goal for the day. Eston on 6-3, 39. St Kilda, 11-8. 74. Well, it suffice to say that St Kilda will go in at half time with a rather handy lead. As you see on the board there, nearly 26 minutes have gone in the second term. And uh, I would uh, visualise that St Kilda could come back and get another one, or can Essendon get up quickly and get a couple of quick goals. This is what they want. 26 minutes gone now, and uh, Essendon down by five goals. Five. That is the story here at VFL Park. Waverley is done them there, giving instructions to his players. Umpire Bill Della are waiting for the ball to come back. It has now, so we're on with the game now. Della coming in. About to bounce, right in the centre of the ground. Umpire Della coming in now, putting the ball down. The Ruckman rise high. Mackenzie and Ditterich. Ditterich taps it down. Not much result from it, though. It's been hurriedly kicked out toward Theodore. Casson can't take the mark. Casson still with the box seat. Ditterich takes it away from him. A funny old hand pass comes out to Ross Smith. He gets out of trouble with a bounce, and he's tackled by Mackenzie. Will pick up the free kick, holding the man decision. Ross Smith, there's Ditterich. And Tottenham have clashed there. Umpire Della. Acting as a referee, there's Mackenzie of Essendon also having a few words to say. <laughs> Dideridge giving Mackenzie a few points, but now it's still with Ross Smith on centre wing. Umpire Dunner calling Roberts back on the mark. And it's a free kick to Dideridge upfield now. Something else has happened. So Dideridge will take this free kick at centre half forward. And the crowd are livid. There's the kick from Dideridge, a high one toward the full forward zone. The ruck with the pack fly, they can't take it. Minot's in there, taps it out of the hands of Daniel. It's on the ground, picked up and hurriedly kicked by Smith of Essendon. Back towards centre half forward, tapped on by Davis, taken and lost by Tadman. The ball onto the ground here, the players diving on it. Picked up by Alan Davis, driven up towards the goal square. Lawrence is there in front. He has the ball punched away from him. Stevens in the forward pocket. This fellow's dangerous. He gets it onto the left foot. Galt waits for the bounce, runs into trouble. The ball held to him, but made no effort to get rid of it. Pays the penalty, and the free kick will go to Barry Davis. Davis takes the kick, goes for the short pass and finds John Williams, but uh, it didn't gather much ground because play still in Eston's back pocket. From back pocket, the kicker, not a good one, across towards centre-half forward. St Kilda's centre-half forward, taken by Casson. Casson onto the left foot, a high one now, towards centre wing. They come out, Neil can't get to it on the second attempt. 
It comes back onto the ground. The players dive in. Pushed out there by Roberts towards Blethen. He gets one across, but that is the favourite here. In comes Tudman to do battle once again. Noonan's there for Reston. He secures. Gets one across towards Blethen. Blethen sidesteps. Runs into trouble and out of trouble. Onto the left foot. Appears a go here for Tudman. Falls and a great mark. There's Tudman. Players coming in a little bit excited, but Tudman taking a magnificent mark there. Running back on it. Sheer determination allowed him to retain possession of the ball as he fell to the ground. And now Tudnam, point blank range, only five yards out, directly in front. His side trailing by 35 points. Half, half time, fairly close. As Tudnam comes in and puts it right through the middle, so the scoreboard's a change. There it is. The Dons move along to 7 3, 45. St Kilda on 11-8, 74. Well, Tuddenham certainly setting his team a fine example there. With a very courageous mark under hot opposition. Tuddenham stood his ground as the pack came in toward him. As I said, a courageous mark and a fine goal and leading Essendon on the way back. St Kilda 11-8. Essendon have come back to 7-3. So they're not far away. Not much in an hour. Four goals, five. They're whittling the lead down. And by half-time, who knows? But half-time's not far away either. 29 minutes and 20 seconds gone as Phil Della puts, uh, puts the ball down once again. It's at the centre bounce where McKenzie gets the big tap to Blethen being held. My answer call, Blethen still being held, and Blethen will take the free kick. Blethen at centre half forward, a long kick to drive it right down to the square. Alan Noonan waiting for the kick to come downfield. It's a beautiful torpedo punt kick. Noonan at the back of Davis, Neal's fly high. It's a goal coming up. A good goal. The crowd rising, listen to them rise. A good goal there, kicked by Barry Grinner. Beautiful piece of football. And St Kilda on 11 8, 74. Essendon fighting right back. 8 3, 51 at the 30 minute mark of the second term. All this action on HSV7's big replay. It's at Waverley, the venue today, and a big crowd in attendance. A colourful crowd witnessing the first ever senior elimination match at VFL Park. Umpire Bill Duller doing a great job out there. Um, I would say in front of the biggest crowd yet at VFL Park, Waverley. The scores I've told you, not much in an hour, 23 points the difference. The new battle tapped down here by Minot, taken by Davis. A high kick over centre half forward, Lawrence can't get to it, couldn't pick it up on the half volley, carries the ball out towards the half forward flank, gets back onto the left foot, looks for his teammate there, but the pass off line, and it's uh, picked up by Williams, a hand pass comes across here, Eston through Hulley trying to get out of trouble, he was well held, the ball comes back. The ball kicked on here, back towards centre wing, and the mark to slow it down is taken down there by Barry Davis. The Dons fighting back four goals in the last nine minutes as Davis puts it up towards the half-forward flank for Eston, but in the way for St Kilda is Neil Basanko. Well, Neil Basanko will steady them down slightly here, taking his time on half-back on the member side. Basanko coming in, oh, it's a poor kick, it's wobbling toward the boundary line. Casson and Alan Davis will fly for possession. The half-time siren has sounded, and St Kilda on 11-8. 74 at this stage leading Essendon, 8 goals, 3.51. We commence the second, uh, the third quarter, I'm sorry. Bill Della coming into bounce from BFL Park, Waverley. Essendon trailing now by 23 points. There's the kick coming back toward Breen, and Breen at centre half forward has marked for St Kilda. Half time scores being St Kilda, 11 8, 74, Essendon 8 3, 51. The kick from Breen downfield and a good mark taken in defence once again by Peter Daniel. John Casson with the ball, will bring the ball back now to uh, Daniel. Ditterich giving some instructions out there, but Daniel now will go toward the, I would say, the outer side boundary line. That he does with a high kick. They fly up the ball, punched to the ground here, pushed aside here by Manzi. He never feels in there also. Been picked up here by Travis Pays. The right foot kick's not effective. Taken here by Parks. He sidesteps nicely onto the left foot now, up towards the half forward flank they go. They wait for it down there. Grinner fires, can't bring it down. Picked up here by Tuddenham. Lost by him too. Tries for the hand pass. That doesn't uh, do him much good. Uh, it's a free kick out there on the half forward flank. And it'll be the Eston captain coach. There's Tuddenham to take it. Grab too high when going for possession of the ball. Tuddenham on half forward. There's the kick coming up toward the pocket area. In there is Grinter and also Neil. Uh, no mark to Murray either. Oh, bad miss there by Colling. It's on the ground. Everyone waiting for everybody else. Brian Minot comes through. Gets it out toward Bob Murray. On the left foot, he, click, he kicks right across the ground. He's clearing kick coming toward the boundary line. And it's all lesson. And Kenny Fletcher there. And also uh, Roberts. They can't do anything about it. No, I'm sorry, it's Schultz. Uh, gets a left foot pass into Blethen. And Blethen has taken the mark about 45, 50 yards out from goal. Jeff Blethen in this game. Uh, has to his credit one goal which he kicked in the second term 
Blethen now, I would say, would get the distance. Although distances at VFL Park are rather deceptive. Blethen coming in now. Essendon trailing. 23 points down. Blethen's kick on line, but it's dropping slightly. It's up toward the square. The pack fly high, forced through from the hands of the pack. One point only. Cowboy Neil in the middle of the pack was appealing for the mark. Such was not the case, so the score's tightening up, but uh, not by very much. 22 points of difference, and it's the Dons who are trailing. St Kilda well in control halfway through the, in fact, the 20-minute mark of the second quarter. They led by 47 points, but uh, over the second half of that term, Eston fighting their way back into the game. A beautiful kick by Murray out towards the half-back flank. Punched down towards Neville Fields. He sidesteps, tackled here by Travis Pays, holding the man decision and fails to take the free kick. Doesn't waste any time. Gets it up towards the forward pocket where the mark is taken by Noonan. Kevin, uh, Alan Noonan now on the forward pocket area, a long way from goal, a high kick in toward the square, a big pack form, gritter over the back, all appealing for the mark, but they're coming out and being paid the mark, Pasanko of St Kilda. Neil Pasanko kicking, right foot kick, a good one too, back toward Alan Davis, who'll sit down and wait for the crumb, the man flying uh, for the mark, John Manzi being paid on half back, flank on the outer side, Manzi coming across the centre line now, looking for Barry Breen, Breen at the back of the pack, uh, couldn't uh, get into the position, taken here by Theodore, hand pass finds Minot, Minot's hand pass finds Smith, Smith now coming from half forward, but he should get his kick quickly, there's a kick going on its way in toward the forward zone, the inner reach in front, can't take the mark, uh, spoiled by Halley, Halley picks up, his kick coming right across the face of goals, uh, Trot and Fletcher doing battle, Fletcher can't mark, Trot with a chance, his Trot picks up the uh, miss, he's missed! What a shocking miss by Stewie Trot, only 12 to 15 yards out. Yes, uh, a bad miss, just looking to pick up the player on the ground there. Could be Halley, yes, it looks number 44 down there. Either be, either be Halley or Delahunty in the 40s. In some sort of trouble, but play going on as the ball's booted back into play by Daniel, very close to the line. It's Theodore who will be uh, paid the mark on the second grab. Theodore on the half-forward flank. 65 yards out from goal. High floating torpedo punch kick drops into the forward pocket. Dittrich comes out into the back of uh, Delahunty there and the ball being punched out. In comes umpire Bill Della. He says, I'll bounce it. St Kilda's forward pocket, 25 yards out from goal. It'll be bad news for Essendon if Halley isn't fit because they have a replacement on for Gerlach, that being Casson, as picked up here by Smith. Uh, Smith uh, getting around his opposition here. A little kick, not a good one, but it's coming in toward the goal square and the mark has been dragged down. There's no doubt about it. Essendon defence has had a lot of pressure applied to them today, but they're standing up quite well. And now we'll see the kick coming from the boot of Delahunty going to the outer side. It's up to the half-back flank. The kick has travelled. The pack's spoiled. It's at the back now. We see Parks trying to pick up. Can't do so as yet. There's a left-foot kick from Park. Coming upfield toward the centre wing and a good mark taken by Gary Colling of St Kilda. He goes for a left-foot pass, which isn't a good one. It's come in toward Elliot. Elliot at centre-half four. Gets a hand pass to Breen. Breen steps out of trouble nicely. He's kicked into the goal square. A high one. Dinerich waits at the back of the pack, but it's bounced to Stevens. Stevens left-foot kick, and he also has missed. Well, two shots. Missed, both missed by St Kilda. Both shots have been no more than 15 yards out and dead in front. So St Kilda with their inaccuracy in this, the early stages of the third term, keeping the uh, Dons within striking distance. Daniel got out of that one very nicely, runs about these 15 he yards. get out of it all right, he's been penalised, overrun the 10, and umpire Della has penalised him now. A free kick will be paid uh, to St Kilda, dead in front of goal. Uh, umpire Della pointing to Diderich uh, to take the kick. Barry Lawrence has picked up the ball, but umpire Della said give it to Diderich because it's his kick. Now, bad luck there for Peter Daniel. Kick the ball clear of hand and foot to play on from the uh, full back position. But uh, then in sidestepping two opponents, covered too much ground. And now we see possibly a golden opportunity for St Kilda. Diderich coming in from 15 yards out. He hasn't missed. And St Kilda post their first goal since half time. They've moved their score on now to 12 goals, 10-82. The scoreboard showing Essendon at 8-4-52. So five straight goals of difference in St Kilda's favour. Well, bad luck for the Essendon side. As we mentioned, at half-time they were trailing by 23 points. And it was of the utmost importance to the Dons that they got the first goal after the break. Such has not been the case, of course, and it's St Kilda leading by 30 points. The big men do battle down there. Punched down by Minot. Punched further forward. Taken by McKenzie. A left foot kick up towards centre half Good forward. Mark. And Cowboy Neal stretching and just brings it in. Cowboy Neal at centre half back. Directing play out towards his centre wing. On the outer side of the ground. The pack moving back to it. Minot in front. 
Neither player can get to it down there. It's Theodore who should push it clear. He does so, taken by Wilson. He can't get a kick in. Comes to Minot, who just about throws it out towards Manzi. Manzi now from half forward flank. Puts the ball up towards the goal square. Here's a chance for Dietrich. He can't hang on to it. Stevens. Puts it on its way in the mark. Touched been all dropped. clear. Waiting to see what the decision Touched is. Touched all clear, One point Brent. from the hands of Delahunty. One point only. So St Kilda doing most of the attacking in the last three minutes. And uh, they move along to 12, 11, 83. 31 points ahead of Eston's tally of 8, 4, 52. Peter Daniel will kick the ball in this time. And after giving that goal away, the kick coming out to the outer side, half-back flank area. Punch clear of the pack taken by Ross Smith going goalward. He lines them up, and St Kilda well off target in this term. There's Rossi Smith, not pleased with his performance there, uh, bringing up one more point to the score. Well, at halftime, uh, Essendon uh, were in all sorts of bother, and Frank has told you they wanted the first goal or two, but now we see St Kilda doing all the attacking and making Essendon's job that much harder. Waiting on Peter Daniel. He hasn't been kicking off all that well today. This one's not so good either, only going about 40 yards from the hands of the pack. It comes down to where Theodore struggles to keep the ball in place, succeeds. Manzi in there trying to pinch it away from the pack, but it's finally taken away by, by uh, Parks. He runs up towards the half-forward flank, gets a hand pass across, was looking for Kasson, finds it, or follows it up himself, gets along towards the centre wing. This is a great dash we're watching here. Away he goes, he's run a good uh, 50 yards downfield, gets a short pass in. In they go, Grinter across towards Casson. Casson onto the boot. The ball to within 40 yards of goal. Eyes on the ball, comes to the ground. It's been hooked in here, kicked by Roberts. It's trickling across the face of goal, close to the boundary line. It's been kept in. Here's an opportunity here. The hand pass comes out to Tustin. He sidesteps, goes for the hand pass to Blethen. He's under pressure. He can't get to it. Kasanka was sweating on him there. But uh, Blethen couldn't get possession of the ball. So it's out of bounds, 10 yards away from the centre of Eston's goal. Tap down, tap further forward. A chance here for Noonan. Kicks into the back of the man. It's pick, picked up and lost by Ross Smith. Pushes the ball along in front of him. The ball socket along the ground of Fletcher. On Eston's half forward flank. Could have just about been a holding the ball decision against Fletcher there. Went for the bounce. Trot had hold of him. But it's out of bounds on Eston's half forward flank. On McKenzie's dreaming in to do the ruck work for Eston and getting there on time. Got the tap down to Fields. Fields gets a hand pass out to Fletcher. Fletcher being tackled by Trot. Players having trouble holding their footing. But gets the ball away from Fletcher, picked up by Minot. A little kick coming back towards centre wing. And it's all Essendon and Ray Smith of Essendon taking the mark. Smith on centre wing. Well, he's just about half forward. He goes in toward the centre of the ground. Manzi getting in front to take the mark. For St Kilda. And I think that could be a 15-yard penalty. I'm not too sure. No, no penalty coming up. John Manzi getting some rough treatment there from Casson. Yes, it was a 15-yarder. And Manzi has kicked the ball downfield, but umpire Dunner bringing the ball back. Slowing down uh, St Kilda's progress to goal there. He must have been, he wasn't too uh, direct with his decision there, Frank, was he? No, well, it was one I wouldn't agree with, Jack, because I thought Manzi would have been on his way if Kasten hadn't have put out the arm. So there it is, the ball going back to Manzi, play being held up, and in the meantime, the Eston players right down there on St Kilda's forward line. Up towards centre half forward, Breen put one hand up, couldn't bring it in. Fields now gets, uh, goes for the bounce he's hung on to and he'll take the free kick. He'll play on to the minute he gets the chance. Fields going back looking for somewhere to go. A raking drop kick coming up towards centre half forward. But oh, there's a oh, The fair dink and some of the things they're doing here. Gary Collin has taken the clean mark and that was absolutely ridiculous football from Roberts. Giving away 15 yards, giving away free kicks as though they didn't mean a thing. And now we see Colling from the centre line now kicking down toward half forward. They wait for it, it bounces first, being taken here by Daniel, carries it through, lost, it comes towards Stevens. He spins around quickly, he's only 20 yards out directly in front. A left foot snaps across the face of goal, it bounces back but doesn't score, so it's out of bounds. Dangerous territory for the Eston side, we're in St Kilda's forward pocket. And the Saints are leading by 32 points just on 11 minutes into the third term. Dittry takes it from the, from the ruck, kicks it along the ground, but it's one point. St Kilda 12, 13, 85. Eston 8, 4, 52, 33 points of difference. Smack on 11 minutes into the third term. Well, St Kilda on 12, 13 now, Frank. They have for this term so far kicked one goal, five. Haven't been on target at all. 
Peter Daniel kicking to the outer side, a half-back flank area. The Ruckman form up, it's been punched away by Minot, taken by Schultz. A hurried kick goes just about straight up in the air. Davis coming in for St Kilda, can't take the mark. It's been picked up here by Parks, he can't get the kick in. Fields picks up, had the hand pass, cleverly smothered by Smith. Uh, Pays came on the scene, but Tuddenham gets the relieving kick in up towards Casson. Casson tried to punch it on, he could have taken that mark. Here's Roberts being held by Elliott, got a hand pass away. Play goes on on the outer side. As Parks showing a clean pair of heels to Manzi, gets a kick up field for Sanko in the way for St Kilda checks himself and now drives back towards half forward, it's a high kick, Minot will try and spoil which he does, here's a kick to Pays now, he hooks it back around toward Elliot uh, toward Breen, Breen can't get it coming on the scene was Lawrence, he couldn't pick up either Daniels tackled, but could get the kick in now to take the pressure up, he strode more than 10 yards again, the crowd tried to give the free kick away but he has found Tuddenham Tuddenham now, kicks back toward half forward they fly high, and Judson at the back has taken the nice part Yes, well played Wayne Judson. He's been a very solid player for the St Kilda defence. Back pocket player, but on the half-back flank on this occasion, puts it out towards the centre wing position. The mark's taken by Rodney Galt. He gets a hand pass across, looks for, and finds Ross Smith in all sorts of bother now. An opportunity here for Smith if he goes on with it. The ball bouncing awkwardly, being well shepherded, but in comes Stevens for St Kilda. Took his time, dropped the ball, Cole, but play on as a call here. I know that the decision uh, is uh, a holding the ball decision against Stevens, he's going back like it's going to be his kick but uh, that won't be the case the free kick going Essendon's way well, he was playing for the free kick for in the back Frank but he hasn't got it and now Essendon coming up toward the centre of the ground Delahunty taking the mark at half back Delahunty be looking for somewhere to go with this kick he's going right into the middle of VFL Park the kick is a high one, the pack form up and Blethen over the back, went for the big one, couldn't take it, taken by Basanko. Basanko's clearing kick coming downfield, it's come out toward Delahunty, tried to punch it away, Ditwich punched it toward Breen, Breen bursting through the pack now, got a hand pass back, here's Theodore in trouble, on the left foot he comes in toward the full forward zone, bounces badly for Lawrence and bounces right over the boundary line for a throw in, in St Kilda's forward pocket area. The scoreboard showing St Kilda 12, 13, 85. Essendon 8, 4, 52. 13 and a half minutes into the third term. It's the big replay as Galt picks up. He snaps but snaps, I would say, inaccurately. Only one point resulting. Well, the Saints doing all the attacking. What's that, Jack? One goal, six for the, well, they've for the third moved, term. Moved from 11, 8 up to uh, 12, 14. Oh, one, one goal, six. Yes, and they've done most of the attacking and yet they haven't put the results on the board. So the Eston defence under enormous pressure here as Daniel puts the ball out towards half-back flank. Play on the outer side of the ground. The ball dropping short right into the arms of Williams. John Williams, just short of half-back flank. Eston badly needing a goal, but they're having a lot of difficulty in getting across St Kilda's half-back flank line. John Williams runs across towards centre-half back, goes for a run now when he gets past Breen. The kick, not a good one. It'll make centre-half forward, though. The Sanko flies, got his hands to it. The ball onto the ground in Blethen's arms there. And a bit of a stalemate, and it'll be umpire Della to bounce the ball at the centre-half forward position with Eston attacking. Alan Davis picking himself up the ground now as Bill Della comes in to bounce once again. It's all but the centre of the ground, but the Ruckman form up. Minot hooked it back. Good piece of football, but taken by Parks of Essendon. His left foot kick swinging back in towards half forward, picked up by Kevin Neal. A clearing kick toward the outer side wing area where Fields is giving chase, and so is Parks. He's got some pace this Parks, but he can't quite get this one. Carries the ball across the line for a throw in. It's on the outer side uh, wing area, just favouring St Kilda's attacking zone. There's a throw in, Halley and Minot doing battle as uh, Minot who won out, the ball taken here by Parks, once again didn't know what to do with it, he got caught and pays the penalty, a holding the ball decision against Parks and uh, it will be St Kilda's free kick and it's Theodore who doesn't wait for it, he gets a hand pass across towards Pays, Pays puts a high kick up towards the forward pocket area and it's punched away from Lawrence if it wasn't out of bounds on the ball. Uh, it wasn't right on the boundary line as it was punched and it's a throw in some 50 yards out from St Kilda's goal. Halley coming in now to do battle with Ditterich. Ditterich picking up from the pack, hooks it round toward the goal square and Johnny Stevens right in front. Only 15 yards out but he's been off target. He has to his credit one goal three so far in this match but I wouldn't hesitate to say he will put this one through for six points. There's the kick from Stevens going on its way, the umpire indicating all clear and St Kilda eventually attacked it for another goal in the third term. St Kilda moved their score on now to 13 goals, 14-92. Essendon 8 goals, 4-52. As you can see by the board, 40 points the difference in the scores. Frank did tell you that in the second quarter, Essendon were trailing by 47 points at one stage. At, at half time at the interval, they were down by 23 points. And now we see St Kilda going away once again. 40 points in front at the 16-minute mark of the third term. The bounce taking place. 
Down it's tapped by Minot, finds Trot. Trot hooks the ball over his shoulder, out towards the half-forward flank. Barry Davis going back on it, showing a lot of courage and taking a good safe mark in defence. Davis now, Dittrich being uh, called back on the mark. Davis going back at centre-half back. Well, Eston will be coming right down the centre of the ground. A nice long kick by Davis, drifting across here. The mark's built by Alan Davis, but the whistle goes, and it's Alan Davis to be paid the mark. I would say he held it long enough to be let another 15 yard coming up this time against Jeff Blethen having a few words to say Alan Davis was going up uh, I think trying to play on Blethen trying to stop him and now 15 yards will put Davis well into the attack as Dinerich streams downfield to take the pass from Davis Dinerich on half forward flank a long kick will drive this ball right into the goal square players going down now a little bit late Galt going down to the square a big kick from Dinerich won't score I wouldn't think it's over the boundary line on the full but a beautiful kick by Dinerich, just couldn't control the accuracy, and then Halley will take the free kick. Then Halley from the back pocket with the Dons trailing by 40 points, the kick a bad one, straight up in the air, up they go, punched away by Ross Smith, comes down to where Field secures, he takes his time, but gets a kick across towards centre-half back for the Don side, and it's Eston centre-half back who marks it, gets it across towards Casson. Casson streaming down the ground, now gets a hand pass in, straight out towards Noonan, Noonan's at centre-half forward, onto the left foot, up there they go, Roberts is down there, the two sixes clash, it's, uh, it's Murray into the back of Roberts, but play on as a call, picked up and kicked by Bob Murray, out towards No Man's Land, the ball bouncing just inside the line, then bounces over on Eston's half forward flank on the outer side of the ground. There's a point in uh, experience and inexperience there, Frank. Roberts was pushed in the back by Murray. Murray kept going and Roberts stopped and appealed for the free kick. Could have, uh, would have been better off if it had gone and fought uh, position out. Parks gets a kick towards Tottenham. He can't handle it. Neil coming through. Ball showing weight too. Gets a clearing kick downfield which crosses the centre line. John Williams dropping back on it, taking the mark at centre half back. Williams with the ball at centre half back. Hitterich on the mark. He being called back by umpire Della. A short pass into Ward Halley in the centre of the ground has been seen and accepted. There's Halley now in the centre of uh, VFL Park, turning with a kick that travels over centre half forward. Neil coming out and Grinder neither can take the mark and pushing in the back. That was a strange one. I thought Neil was the man in front, but Grinder getting the free kick. Neil must have been hanging on to him or something. Now it's Grinder from centre half forward to drive Essendon into attack. One, this one will fall just short of the goal square. A bit more pushing and shoving going on the ball. Taken by Judson. Kicked out to the open space in the pocket. In comes Manzi for St Kilda. Picks it up. Loses it. The ball pushed over the line by Manzi. So we're in Eston's forward pocket. 40 yards out from goal. And the Dons needing goals. They trail by 40 points. 40 points down at the 19 minute mark of the third term. As Minot went for the big knock. Got it out to Pays. Pays on the left foot. Hooks back toward uh, an area where Casson is waiting for it. Dittorich over the back. And also Halley. Picked up here by Andy Wilson. One bounce. Possibly two. No, he's going for the kick. Hooks back in toward the full forward area. The man in front is Murray. No mark. Play on. Uh, Tottenham got a hand pass out. Taken by Kevin Neal. Dittorich coming on the scene. Taking the chest mark on a half back flank area. There's Dinerich now, half back and driving towards centre half forward. And down towards this position where we see Breen doing battle. Breen with the ball in front of him, got the kick out. Sorry, it was Theodore toward Breen now. Breen picking up, hand pass coming out towards Stevens. He has it now, turning from the pocket area. Straightens up, has gone for a short pass, which is a shocking pass. And out of trouble now. It's all Essendon as Williams picks up at centre half back and fumbles. Picks up once again, a hand pass over towards McKenzie. McKenzie has the ball taken away by Galt. Ross Smith tips in. Essendon looks now they're going half pace. A pass from Smith up towards Lawrence, spoiled by Daniel. Lawrence giving chase, Della Hunty tips in. It's Lawrence and Della Hunty. Lawrence with the ball under him. Umpire Della watching very closely as play goes on. And a bounce will take place in this position. The position being right next to St Kula's point post. Pack preparing to go for the knock. Galt moves in the button to place to do battle with Halley. There's the bounce that's been punched uh, out of bounds by Big Len Halley. So the, a throw in to result. Rather vocal crowd at VFL Park Wadley. There's a throw-in coming in. In there is Rodney Galt. They fly high. It's been tapped down. Taken by Daniel. Kicked out in the direction of Breen, but running toward the boundary line. Breen can't keep it in. Another throw-in will result. Other man in the screen there was uh, Huey Delahunty of Essendon, and the umpire now about to bring it back in once again. 35 yards away from the Saints goal. Punch down here. Ross Smith goes to punch himself. Mackenzie will go another one. Not a good one off the side here. Out towards Schultz. Schultz close to the line, but keeps the ball in play and uh, kicks it out. Not on the fall. It bounced just short of the line. So the Eston defence at this stage, 20 minutes or 21 minutes just about, into the third term, making very hard work of this game, under a lot of pressure. 
They buy for front position. The tap down's a good one taken by Casson, and his kick right off the side of the boot. A shocker, and the Eston at this moment not doing anything right. And from that out of bounds on the full, it's a free kick down there to Johnny Manzi. Manzi, 75 yards out from goal, centers the ball to within about 30 yards or 20 yards of the goal square. Comes down to Lawrence, he puts boot the ball, it trickles the wrong side of the post, and it's only a point. St Kilda on 13, 15, 93 points. Eston on eight goals for 52, 41 points the difference. Here's Peter Daniel going for a short pass. This time he finds Delahunty. Delahunty taking his time will go back and take the kick. He is in the back pocket area, very close to the boundary line. The kick from Delahunty travelling up toward half back where Minot sets himself and Brian Minot taking the mark. Pushed into Castle on that occasion by Barry Davis of Essendon. Minot now on half forward. The kick travelling toward the pocket area, just floating out toward the front of goal to the mark. A good mark taken down there by Peter Daniel. Daniel of Essendon, only about 15 yards out from St Kilda's goal. There's the kick. Oh, it's a high one. Got more height than distance. Hard one to mark. The pack come in. Yes, a good mark taken in the front there by Barry Davis of Essendon. A floating ball dropping down from the sky. Hard to anticipate just which way it would have gone. The kick from Davis out toward the wing area where Noonan is giving, a, a, giving on that occasion, calling a marking exhibition. So Noonan playing on onto the left foot up towards the half forward flank. Neil doing battle down here. Shot out towards Parks. He in turn gets it towards Casson. Casson on half forward flank a long way from home but puts it right up towards the goal square. The sixes are going back on it. It's six for St Kilda Murray who wins out. Quickly onto the left foot now out towards Manzi. Manzi and Fletcher do battle. The bounce beats them both. It's uh, Judson who allows Manzi to come in. Get the kick up towards the half forward flank. Galt fighting to get in front. Can't do so. An opportunity here for Smith. He's onto the left foot. Puts the ball up towards the half forward flank. Out they come. A simple mark drop by Tundam. Back in business. He gets it across towards Fletcher. Fletcher onto the right foot. A towering torpedo kick up towards the square. They fly. No mark. Roberts does battle with Neil, but it's Neil who plays defensive and gets the ball out of bounds in the Eston forward pocket, some 20 yards out from goal. The experienced, uh, the Eston of uh, the St Kilda defence, Frank, standing up quite well, Murray and Neil, and also Judson putting in a fine game with Basanko and Colling. There's the tap down. Basanko coming through the pack, couldn't take it with him. The ball still in there with Basanko once again dives on it, hooked it out this time toward Ross Smith. Smith with the ball in front of him, hotly tackled there by Noonan. He can't do much with it, got a hand pass away. It's going close to the boundary line where Trotvick up, he gets a clearing kick in downfield, uh, Barry Davis there for Essendon, it's over the back of the pack where Casson comes streaming down, kicked off the ground in the general direction of Breen, Breen picking up for St Kilda with the ball in front of him now, put it down one, Balks, there's a kick coming back towards centre half, forward, a high one, there was a push in the back to uh, Alan Davis, not paid, play on as the call as Delahunty streamed through, picked up by Barry Lawrence, hand pass to Dederich, Dederich sidesteps, gets a shot at goal, and Stevens in the goal square, and Stevens has taken the mark. Good passenger football there by Essendon, uh, by St Kilda, starting right back with Stewie Trot in the back pocket. And Cass and Jack on the centre wing not helped in his uh, efforts to catch the St Kilda players because he'd lost his boot. So it's back to Stevens, only five yards out, 45 degree angle. Should be quite an easy goal, and there's no worries for Stevens. He puts it right through the middle. He's kicked three goals out of St Kilda's tally of 14, 15, 99 points. Eston on 8 4, 52. So St Kilda back to the lead. They enjoyed halfway through the second term, that lead being 47 points. Well, I see the Essendon uh, runner out there having a few words to say to Ken Roberts, who's up at the full forward position. I uh, don't see any change coming up. I can't see a lot of thing or anything that Tottenham can do with his side really at this stage. They're just being outplayed by the St Kilda team. Umpire Bill Deller in the centre once again. Casts an eye around the ground and then decides to bounce. Minot comes in, so does Mackenzie. Minot taps it down. A chance here for Fields with the ball in front of him. He pushes it on but loses possession on this occasion. Parks chips in for Essendon. He can't take the ball away either. Trotts in there battling for St Kilda. Comes out with the ball but can't get a clearing kick in. A small kick from the side of the boot. Out toward the boundary line where Pays gives chase. He picks up for St Kilda. Hooks it back around the boundary line. Going very close toward the boundary line too. It bounces where Lawrence taps it out. It's been a hand pass up field. Straight towards Ross Smith, it's coming back toward Alan Davis over the back will come Johnny Stevens and Stevens till he took that play on it's called play on, the play has stopped there they hit a charge now as Casson picks up he's coming up through half back, a hand pass which wasn't good thinking, should have been a kick for mine, Andy Wilson picks up now and drives up towards the half forward area Judson and Schultz doing battle and Wayne Judson winning out, Judson on half back flank for St Kilda 
from the grandstand side of the ground as Judson puts the ball up towards the half forward flank the players having trouble tap, uh, tackling here holding their footing too it's taken by Galt he wasn't quite sure what to do with it but got it across towards Dittrich he's at centre half forward where he gets it to Breen Breen lines up the goals from about 70 yards out a long kick but well off line in actual fact it's out of bounds on the full well we're one and a quarter minutes into time on and St Kilda in great shape leading by 47 points waiting for Adela Hunty to take his kick he's in the, the back pocket Eston being unfortunate in losing uh, Daryl Gerlach at the quarter time break Davis drifting in and the ball floating towards Davis uh, didn't have an opponent and took quite an easy mark and uh, well within scoring distance Jack Edwards oh every chance of a score from Davis Frank he's a, a beautiful kick normally but this one is off the side of the boot slightly though it's swinging back it's so with a funny old kick from Davis but it's gone up six points and that is uh, another nail in the coffin for Essendon by the looks of things Essendon still down badly at eight goals for 52 and now we see St Kilda move their score on to 15 goals 15 105 points the time clock showing we have now played 27 minutes of the third term Sir Des Tudnam trying to rev his side up but he's not getting much results for his effort out there the Essendon uh, players just can't handle this machine like football of St Kilda's Bounce taking place, tapped down by Minot to Pays once again. Pays hooks straight back into attack and Davis coming out. Wasn't paid that mark. Oh yes, he has been. And Fidella paying the mark to uh, Davis of St Kilda. This, the Essendon fans aren't happy with that one. I was a bit, little bit doubtful whether he held it quite long enough. Well, I would have been too, Jack. I'm just wondering if perhaps it may have been against Casson. Casson coming in uh, with a lot of force, getting slightly into the back. But it's back to Davis, who's at centre half forward some 65 yards out and this is a towering torpedo punt kick it's gone every bit of 75 yards but it's offline results in one point we've seen some good kicking there by the St Kilda players mainly that big kick of Ditterich which didn't score the big one from Breen which didn't score and that one from Alan Davis which uh, resulted in one point Peter Daniel now coming up the centre of the ground more he's looking for a high mark in John Williams but Breen spoils that attempt it's on the ground now a hand pass coming out towards Manji he can't get to it another hand pass comes back towards Fletcher taken by Fields Fields swings around he's only 30 yards out from the St Kilda goal he's going for hand passes to get out of trouble but luckily enough for Fields he's been held but not in possession and he will take the free kick this kick from Fields won't make the centre I wouldn't think as I say, only about 30 yards out uh, from St Kilda's goal. He's going toward the boundary line, a short pass. He's found Halley. Halley straightens up with a hand pass that finds Williams. Williams now coming through a half back with a kick toward the half forward zone and a big mark to Mazanko of St Kilda. Well, St Kilda playing with a lot of confidence, Bones. They're well on top. They're leading by 54 points. 20 or just on 29 minutes into the third term in comes Halley too late to spoil but succeeds he gets it across here it's taken here by Parks onto the left foot up towards the half forward flank the ball dropping short Neil was in there doing battle taken by Basanko a hand pass went towards Tottenham he gets it across towards Wilson Wilson now onto the right foot puts the ball to within 30 yards of goal they wait for it down there up they go a chance here for Roberts no, pushing the back Whistle to Murray gone. pushing the back to Murray this time it's been reversed Murray did the pushing before and uh, wasn't penalised, but Kenny Roberts has been caught getting into the back of Bob Murray. Umpire Bill Della, well positioned to see it, and Kenny Roberts not having too much to say, so it must have been on. And there's the three-quarter time siren, and the scores being at the third change. St Kilda 15, 16, 106 points. Essendon trailing on eight goals for 52. This is Jack Edwards and Frank Adams bidding you welcome to the final quarter replay at VFL Park. St Kilda and Essendon. And St Kilda holding sway at this stage on 15 16 to 8 4. 106 to 52. That's the story. 54 points in front. That is nine straight goals. Umpire Della in control and doing a great job. Now we see Roberts, who appears to have been moved from the full forward position, taking this kick at centre half back. The kick from Roberts coming down with a pack form up. The man in front will be paid for mine and a good mark taken by Neil Basanko. Basanko, a good player for St Kilda at centre half back. A drop punt kick out towards the centre wing. Up they go, Malthouse in front, who obviously came on at three-quarter time. Taken here by Alan Davis. He goes for a placement kick up towards Lawrence on the half-forward flank. And Lawrence just can't hang on to it long enough. And it ricochets from his chest out of bounds. We're 65 to 70 yards out from the St Kilda goal. 
Galt will be doing the ruck work. He's got the run in here. He goes for the big one, but he's beaten there by McKenzie. The ball comes out here towards Manzi. He was held, didn't have it, then pushed into the ground, taken by Barry Davis. A hand pass came out in the direction of Parks. Minot intercepts, puts one uh, up towards the half-forward flank, but Davis in the way for Essendon. Barry Davis looking for fields in the centre. Pays, trying to spoil, can't do so. It's over the back where Casson has the opportunity. Has the ball, being well tackled, but play on the call from umpire Della. The kick coming downfield, and Judson's been a great player for St Kilda today. Streaming out from the pocket, kicking high toward Alan Davis. He can't take it. He's on the second grab. He has been paid. Alan Davis of uh, St Kilda. And there's a could lose it here too. Casson and Davis having a little bit of uh, a chat, you might call it. Now Davis going up toward the forward pocket area where Lawrence leads out, spoiled by Daniel, picked up here by Barry Davis, got a hand pass away which was ineffective, the pack coming in and umpire Della coming in to bounce. It appears that uh, Barry Davis may have hurt himself here, Frank, is picking himself up off the ground, may, it looks like he may have injured his, uh, his right ankle, he looks in pain but the bounce has taken place and Minot gets the tap down to Smith, Smith in trouble, got a hand pass over his head, it's been taken by Daniel, his clearing kick going in toward the centre west, Huey Trot goes back on it, Smother the bounce well, and it well taken from him also, and Fletcher picks up. Gets one out towards the half forward flank, they come out to meet it down there, Blethen ridden right into the ground, and he'll take the free kick more centre half forward than anything else, and 60 yards out from goal. It's Essendon on 8-4-52, exactly 54 points behind St Kilda's total of 15-16-106. No need to tell you that the Dons need a goal, and they need a few of them, and they need them quickly. There's Blethen, who's already kicked one for the Eston sides, puts a towering torpedo, punt kick up there, drifting across the face of goal, it drops back into play, it's uh, been taken here and kicked by Cowboy Neil out to Mansi, and Mansi finds the pace required to get to it and take the mark just inside the boundary line. Mansi up toward half-back flank on the member's side, going for a drop punt pass, it's up toward the wing area now and a good mark taken by Elliot. I see Malthouse on the ground as Frank has told you, but he looks... Uh, as though he's injured also, he has a big heavy strapping on his arm. The kick coming up, field award, Breen, and Breen paid on the second grab. Barry Breen has, has the ball now on a half-forward flank area, kicking toward the small scoreboard end of VFL Park. Breen kicking in toward Diderich. Diderich looking at the back, looking for Halley. Diderich couldn't take that one. It has been paid, though. He fumbled that one. I wouldn't call that a clean mark in my book. But Carl Diderich, with this kick, won't make the distance, although he did put in a beautiful kick in the third term. We'll see what happens with this one. Diderich be looking for the goal square. It's a floating pun kick. Up toward a pack of players and uh, no result here. Essendon will turn them out once again. The kick will come from Delahunty. It's a long one. Back toward the centre-half back area. They wait for a Davis in front, but Alan Davis from behind punches it away. It comes down to where Ross Smith puts it up towards the full forward area, but in the way once again is Delahunty. Delahunty, who went to the back pocket when... Uh, Gerlach uh, went off injured at quarter time as his kick comes down to where McKenzie has an opportunity, a little bit slow but finally gets a kick in back towards the centre Barry Davis going for the punch, doesn't make contact the ball running along the ground, favours Fletcher in they come, it's been socket off the ground here, the umpire's whistle doesn't go it's allowed to go on as the ball's picked up by Minot, kicked up to where the mark is taken at centre half back by John Williams Williams at centre half back with the Dons kicking towards the Channel 7 scoreboard end of the ground. It's a good kick to up towards centre half forward. The ball beats the pack. Colling gets it across here and uh, it's Davis who lost it. Colling still in there in, in business. Pushed aside here by Basanko. Basanko and Colling having a bit of a discussion about it as Basanko picks up, finds Manzi on centre wing. He's got the chance for the short one to Malthouse and away goes from Coulton now. Malthouse up towards the half forward flank. The lead is by Lawrence. The pass by Malthouse. And once again, Barry Lawrence can't hang on to it. The ball hitting his chest and going straight out of bounds and Barry Lawrence uh, rubbing the hand over the head and just saying to himself well, blow me, I don't know what is wrong It was a pretty hard pass to take though, it was coming at 100 miles an hour There's a throw in taking place now Diderich reaching high on the second tap got it out towards Smith he got around Halley on that occasion but lost possession of the ball it's in there, we see the punched out to Davis Davis picks up for Essendon a kick going in towards centre half forward no mark, it's called play on Noonan got a hand pass to Cass and he's caught and had caught again but he wasn't retarded Elliot with the ball now, docking it on in front of him with a chance for Breffin Breffin swinging back, straightens up, shoots at goal and Essendon Essendon may have answered here. Essendon of goal through Blethen. And that's a long time between drinks as far as goals are, cons uh, are concerned. They were goalless in the third term. At half time, they're eight goals three. And now we see their score change to nine goals four in answer to St Kilda's 15 goals, 15, 16, 106. So uh, when was their last goal kick, Frank? It was uh, very early well, in the match. Well, they came with a run, Jack, uh, in the last uh, eight minutes of the 
the second quarter and kicked the goal right on the half-time siren. So there it is. They've gone approximately 40 minutes in the game between getting goals numbers 8 and 9. Tapped down by Minot. St Kilda doing well in the centre bounce. Could be a free kick coming up for Davis, but play's allowed to go on as Alan Davis breaks clear, puts the ball to within 40 yards of goal, and uh, it's Della Hunty once again doing a sterling job in the back pocket for the Eston side. Della Hunty putting the ball out towards his centre wing on the stand side of the ground. Manzi's in front, and Manzi, using the skill that he's got, brings down an easy mark. John Manzi, quite a good wingman for St Kilda today, puts the ball up the or over the half-forward flank towards Lawrence. He can't find the pace to get to it on the full. Gets round now onto the left foot, up towards Dittrich coming in. He couldn't make it also. It's been picked up here in Eston, about to get out of trouble, but once again doing it the hard way. The bounce speed, Halley, comes out towards Peter Daniel. Daniel spins round, puts the ball more across towards centre-half forward. Under misunderstanding here between Davis and Minot. Sees the ball come out, where it's picked up and kicked by Wilson. Taken here by Basanko and Basanko across towards centre-half forward. Breen, sir, and Barry Breen takes the mark. He swings round straight away, a high punt kick floating toward goal. Dittrich going back. Daniel in the way for Essendon and now Essendon's Peter Daniel taking the mark only 15 yards out from St Kilda's goal the kick from Daniel going high toward Breen they fly high, Breen with first bite couldn't take it Halley uh, with an opportunity to chip in there re refuses to do so picked up here by Wilson Wilson's kick coming down Phil Basanko in the way and Neil Basanko was marked once again Basanko's played a fine game also there's the kick from Basanko out toward Malthouse Malthouse going back to take the mark a hand pass to Manzi was very quick thinking Manzi kicks high toward Lawrence, who's dropped back behind Daniel. Lawrence waits for it. Well spelled on that occasion. The boundary umpire indicates a throw in in St Kilda's forward pocket area. Yes, 25 yards away from St Kilda's goal. Rodney Galt taking position. Dittrich is there also. But it'll be Mackenzie and Galt to do battle. They lean against each other. Tap down here and Delahunty can't make contact. Picked up by Ross Smith. He ducks his head, which is dangerous. A chance here for Halley, who's overrun the ball. Dittrich in there also holding on to Halley. But it will be umpire Bill Della to bounce the ball 35 yards out from St Kilda's goal. Eight minutes gone in the final term and St Kilda well in front. There's the bounce by umpire Della. Bounces high to Dittrich. He grabs it, tried to snap one from the bounce. He's come up with the goal. Square and goal. Galt on the end of the 10-yard line almost has taken the mark for St Kilda. Rodney Galt has been uh, a good player for St Kilda also with two goals, two to his credit today. And I would say from this shot that uh, St Kilda will be posting their 16th goal. Galt kicked a very difficult angle goal for his, uh, with his first shot. Now we see him only, well, he's right on the end of the 10-yard line. He will kick from about 15 yards out. We will have to call him dead in front of goal. Galt now coming in, kicking at goal. There it is, his third goal, and St Kilda moved their score on to 16 goals, 16, 112 points. Essendon on nine goals, four, 58 points at the nine-minute mark of the final term. I've just been handed the figures here, the official attendance figures, and uh, it reads at 52,449 people. So not a bad crowd in attendance at VFL Park Waverley. Back to the centre. The Don's in all sorts of trouble. St Kilda leading by 54 points as umpire Bill Della puts the ball to the turf. Knocked down here, the umpire's whistle sounds, a free kick going Eston's way and uh, it'll be taken down there by Grinter. Grinter, the big uh, Eston Ruckman, Dittrich, the man on the mark, 44 was Halley. But it's back to Grinter as he comes in now onto the left foot, torpedo punt kick that drifts across towards the half forward flank area and flashing through as Cowboy Neal. Oh, Kevin Neal. Getting this kick in now towards Alan Davis and also notice that Shane Grambo was warming up on the sidelines, about to come on. Malthouse taking the mark in two minds, just about run out of bounds there. His kick not a good one, Wilson chips in for Essendon. He picks up on centre wing, kicks in toward half forward. The kick is too long, it favours Minot. Minot and Fields, Minot taps it down to Trot. That was good football. Trot picks up, shoots one back and there's no one home except Ken Roberts of Essendon. Roberts from half back, driving back towards centre half forward. Over the back came Neil, couldn't take the mark. Tapped down toward Alan Davis. He can't pick up cleanly. Still with the ball in front of him. He's pushed in the back. And Alan Davis of St Kilda will take the free kick. Here's about 10 yards on the uh, defensive side of half back. Kicked right across the, uh, the ground on that occasion. Found Elliot. Now Elliot will drive up on the outer side half forward line. He looks for Ross Smith. The lead's a good one. And so too it's the pass. Ross Smith on half forward flanks and Kilda moving into attack and playing well. A high one. They're looking for Breen down there. Galt chips in in front, but Breen's first to recover. Picks up the ball. 50 yards away from goal. Goes for the left foot pass up towards the forward pocket. In comes Stevens. A chance to get it across the woods. Stevens puts it through and bangs it through for his fourth. 
and St Kilda now move along to 17-16, 118 points, Eston on 9-4-58. Well, good football by Stevens. We have told you that Daryl Gerlach had to leave the field early in the game, or at quarter time in actual fact, was injured early in the game. And now we see uh, Stevens coming up, uh, kicking four goals for the match. And uh, Hugh Delahunty had gone to the back pocket, performed quite well, but hasn't got the agility or the experience to mind a fellow like Stevens. Well, Stevens too, Jack, kicking his 50th goal for the season. A good uh, performance by the little St Kilda Rover. Tapped across at centre half forward. Out comes Judson to meet the ball, gets it onto the left foot, puts a high kick back towards the centre wing position. They'll do battle out there. Davis and Fletcher both beaten by the for the ball. Uh, Smith's in there also, joined now by Trott. Uh, Galt comes in to lend the hand, but it's been taken out here. And a high kick by Smith, which doesn't make that much difference, punch further forward, uh, opportunity for Williams, he's got the run in but he'll have to get round, goes for the hand pass to Delahunty which was a stray, Stevens came in for St Kilda, Dittrich is there for the Saints also, he's got a chance to tap it across but Stevens once again from the forward pocket goes for the short pass. Uh, Lawrence is there, he taps it back, looks for Stevens Green there, punched aside here by McKenzie, Daniel with a chance, picks up, goes for the kick out the woods, he's centre wing position, it's dropping short here into no man's land, picked up and lost by Barry Davis, taken by Minor, a hand pass towards Trot, a high kick back towards the forward pocket area and the mark taken down there, nearly dropped but finally taken by Peter Daniel. Daniel going to the out, out of flank. He swings back now, changes his mind, and comes downfield looking for Tuddenham. Sport by Elliott. That's on the ground. Fields giving chase was unloaded by Pays, and Neville Fields will take the free kick. Neville Fields at centre half back now for Essendon. On the left foot, a raking kick over towards centre half forward, and Judson. You'd think he'd picked him out. Judson made perfect position to take that mark. His kick up toward Malthouse. Malthouse coming downfield. That should have been a free kick. The play, that's, that should have been a free kick too. Kenny Roberts kicking the ball out of the grass of. Uh, John Manzi giving away the free kick on centre wing on the members' side. Manzi's been a good player all day for St Kilda. Straightens up now, Ditterich calling for it at centre half forward. Manzi going around the flank looking for Smith. The kick is a high one, and Smith has taken a lovely mark. Hooked it in one hand and caught it as it was falling to the ground. Ross Smith now looking for Lawrence. The kick is a high one. Lawrence has to go back to try and take this mark. Can't do so. Ditterich picks up from the boundary line, straightens up, shoots it, goal! And I think he got it. Yes, what a beautiful goal by Dittrich. Magnificent goal, 40 yards out. Dittrich so close to being out of bounds, it doesn't matter. But he just uh, positioned himself that allowed him to keep himself in play, put it through from the boundary line, kicked his second goal and took St Kilda's score along to 18-16, 124. The Dons on 9-4, 58. Well, Carl Dittrich, I see sport, he looks like a handkerchief out of his uh, top of his shorts. We see Charlie Payne coming on now uh, for Essendon. Replacement for uh, the injured Alan Noonan. Play on in the centre of the ground once again. Umpire Della in control will bounce. Frank has told you the score. We're coming up toward the 14 minute mark of the final quarter. There's Charlie Payne now on the screen. What a hard man to have to go on to. Neil Basenko has played a fine game. Up they go. Halley getting the tap down. It's been tapped on further. Out towards Essendon's half forward zone where Schultz gives chase with the ball in front of him. He straightens up from half forward. Kicks in towards Blethen. Blethen can't get in position to take the mark. Judson's there for St Kilda. Hooks a hand pass back to Colling. Colling straightens up now. Drives one back toward Malthouse. Malthouse making there. Charlie Payne first for the ball. It's been tapped down. Picked up by Parks. He's in trouble. Swinging back to the left foot. Hooks back toward the goal square. It's gone high. The sun in the player's eyes. And a steadying mark to Robert Murray of St Kilda. Blethen going for the big leap. Bob Murray just standing there and taking the mark as coolly as you like. Bob Murray putting play out towards the half-back flank for St Kilda. Parks in good position, nearly lost it, but takes it and plays on. Runs close to the boundary line, hooks the ball in the direction of the goal square. Up they go, the big fist comes in, the ball comes from the fist straight towards Judson. Judson from back pocket, a high kick up towards the half-forward fl flank area for Essendon and the mark taken by Malthouse. Grambo on and I see that Barry Lawrence is off for St Kilda. Malthouse on half-back flank, a high kick. Up toward the wing area, Barry Davis under the ball to take the mark. Looking for somewhere to go, but Dittrich claimed him very quickly. So Davis on centre wing, on the member's side, about to kick to the Channel 7 scoreboard end of the ground. A high kick by Davis and a long one also. A disputed mark, but play on score, picked up and snapped by Blethen. It's online, I would say, umpire indicating only one point. Well, 65 points the difference. Just on 15 and a half minutes into the final term, the applause you can hear is for Barry Lawrence going off 
and uh, Lawrence hasn't had the success that uh, he had at Hawthorne last week, but has still been quite a, a good player for St Kilda. He's given them somebody to kick the ball to, but uh, he only notched two goals for himself. The short pass on, Judson couldn't hang on to it, and has been pushed over the line by John Casson. Throw in to take place. 45 yards out from Eston's goal. Waiting on the battle down there. They get into position, the ball tapped down towards Casson, Colling and Neil close in his heels, and uh, Casson pushed in the back, carries the ball out of bounds, no free kick, and uh, throw in a little bit closer to the goal this time, say 30 yards. There's the throw-in taking place now, Minot in there, got the tap down, it's come to the back of the pack, a chance for Casson. he has the ball but can't do much with it, the ball under him, umpire Della will bounce. Although Western are trailing by a huge margin, they are not giving up the fight at all, they're fighting it out every inch of the way see on the ground there Kevin Neal picking himself up looks like he is injured also Kevin Neal limping toward the boundary line but can't go off all the reserves are on there's the tap down to Cassidy tapped it on further and punched away by Ross Smith toward the boundary line Fields can't get to it a throw in will result well play held up on this half back flank of St Kilda says uh, Cowboy Neal in the hands of the trainer looks like a little bit of knee trouble down there there's uh, an infringement in the ruck free kick against Minot and will be going Eston's way to be taken by big uh, Gary Grinter. Grinter, short of the half forward flank, approximately 60 yards out from goal. No loose men, he'll be going for the long shot. He's already kicked one goal for the Eston side today. This comes then onto the left foot, a floating, wobbling punt, one that'll be difficult to mark. Up they go, the man in front was Davis. He breaks clear, gets the left foot to it, it's offline, and uh, Bisenko coming across, gets his kick in just in time, hooks the ball back towards the back pocket. Grinter taps it down, it's taken by Fields. He breaks clear, gets the ball onto the left foot, across the face of goal. Murray got a hand to it, steered it through for one point. I think it would have only been uh, behind Frank because it was heading that way, Murray getting the hand to it. Uh, not trying to take the mark, but just a little bit of insurance against the goal by Essendon. The scoreboard has been changed to read. St Kilda, 18-16, 124 points. Essendon on nine goals, 660 points. A big margin of 64 points uh, for St Kilda in front. Bob Murray facing to kick to the outer side. He's changed his mind, swinging now back toward the member side of the ground, looking for Minot. In there is Big Halley to spoil. He does, he does that, and now he's got the ball down to Manzi. Manzi picking up. Breen is leading. Breen leading toward the boundary line in front and taking the mark and not being paid. I thought that could have been a mark. Uh, Breen uh, having looked back to umpire Della, but a throw-in will take place on centre wing. This throw-in taking place as Minot comes up to do battle with Halley. Minot and Halley. Minot taps down straight toward Mackenzie of Essendon. Mackenzie mustering a bit of pace now. Tapped it on straight toward Malthouse. Got it over toward Fletcher eventually. Fletcher straightens up, kicks toward Davis. Davis coming down the centre of the ground to take the mark or the free kick against Alan Davis of, es of St Kilda. So the Essendon Davis to take the kick. Here he comes now with a torpedo punt kick wobbling down. Dittrich rises high to spoil, that was successful also, it's on the ground, Elliot got the ball out, it's been kicked hurriedly by Judson, up towards centre wing, it bounces badly for Smith but he recovers very well. Loses the ball now, Got with an opportunity but it's Trot who gets in, gets the ball onto the left foot, the ball kicked into the open territory uh, and it was good play by Trot, he spun out of the pack very quickly, he didn't have anyone to kick it to so he steered the ball in the direction of the boundary line and over the line it went. Alan Davis in the hands of the trainer suffering uh, from cramp as Halley and Galt do battle once again. The tap down was a good one straight towards Smith. He kicks, puts a high kick which hasn't got all that much distance. It wouldn't be paid the mark. Anyhow, had it a been mark, pushed along here by Delahunty, kept in play, and once again the ball going straight up into the air. They wait for it. It was uh, Delahunty just about marking his own kick until Trot finally comes in, puts the ball up towards the half forward flank. It's tapped to, towards the area of the forward pocket. In comes Roberts for Eston onto the right foot now, puts the ball back towards half forward flank. They wait for it down there, going back and missing the mark for Smith, taken by Stuart Trott. He puts the ball across towards centre-half forward. There's no one there for St Kilda. Parks takes it for Essendon. A hand pass wasn't a good one. It was rather a poor one. Manti giving chase. Parks trying to make it good now. Williams in there doing battle. He can't pick up either. Parks fumbling, eventually picking up on half-back flank. His kick not a good one up toward Casson. Casson got rid of uh, Colling in one short little bump. Grinter got a hand pass out to Barry Davis. Barry Davis going for a short pass round the flank and finds Jeff Blethen. Blethen a long way out from goal, telling the players to go downfield, looking for someone to kick to. Now Charlie Payne making his way downfield. 
Barry Davis there also as Blethen kicks from the side of the boot toward Barry Davis. He's spoiled by Ditterich. That's on the ground. Tapped further forward by Colling. That's toward the boundary line. Colling can't pick up. I don't think he was really trying. He was only hoping for the boundary line. So in that case, he was successful. Hello, looks like John Casson may be suffering from cramp also or possibly uh, another injury to that hamstring. Quinter in front, but the ball was tapped down by Minot. It's kicked off the ground by Elliott. Fields gives chase. Davis is there for St Kilda, but Fields getting ranked back onto the right foot now. Puts the ball across towards centre-half forward. Chipping in. Good play there by Basanko. The ball comes back towards Basanko. Sock it off the ground here. It's Fletcher dead. Smack in front. Puts it on its way. Slightly off the side of the boot. Offline. And registers only one point. Nine goals, seven, 61. That's the Don score. The Saints are on 18, 16, 124. So there's 63 points of difference. Bob Murray now deciding which way he'll kick. Shaving up as he'll come to the member side again. Looking for Minot or Ditterich, the two big guns in the St Kilda side. Kick from Murray coming in. Not a good kick. It's dropping short. Getting in there is Ditterich and Ditterich taking the mark. There's Ditterich, kick smothered. Not a good bit of play there by Big Carl. It's on the ground where Halley's pushed in the back and will take the free kick. Halley on half forward flank. Couldn't imagine him scoring from here. I notice also Kevin Neal limping up into the forward pocket for St Kilda. Very pronounced limp. But Halley coming in on the scene now. Looking for a kick. Oh, off the side of the boot has got in towards centre half forward. And a, a mark, an easy mark has been taken there by Andy Williams. Andy Wilson, I'm sorry, Andy Williams sings, doesn't he? Uh, Andy Wilson now from centre-half forward. Here's the kick coming down, it's going to drop in the square. Up they go, punched away from the hands of the players. Colin giving chase with the ball in front of him, still trying to keep it there. Picks up now in the back pocket, looks up and finds Alan Davis. A hand pass comes across to Manzi. Manzi going for a short pass. Players slipping and sliding on the turf out here. A chance here for Stevens. Stevens are now, it's Green on the scene for St Kilda. Hand pass back to Manzi, but he can't control it as yet keeps the ball in play, tapped it back to Stevens, who's only pushed out of bounds himself, a good bump, a fine Stevens, been throwing himself, looking for a free kick, and being played by umpire Bill Della. Well played by Stevens, Jack, he put the ball on the ground and then actually threw himself back into the arms of his opponent, <laughs> and uh, another 15-yard penalty coming out, McKenzie whipping the ball straight back to Stevens from about two yards away, so Stevens not worried about McKenzie being on the mark, he knows McKenzie has to go back 15 yards, and this will take Stevens to have his kick right on the half forward flank. 22 minutes and 50 seconds into the third term and the ball shot across to Minot. A high torpedo punt kick should just about make the edge of the square. Up went Neil with one hand, came down to Grambo. He couldn't get his kick in. The ball being pushed along the ground here. Malthouse is there, but the ball carried over the line for a throw in in St Kilda's forward pocket some 20 yards away from goal. But after all that, the ball is finally going back. <laughs> There's a free kick in there <laughs> somewhere, Frank. Uh, it's been called back to John Stevens. That passage of play went on, Jack, for about a minute. And uh, umpire Bill Duller having a chat down here to uh, Don McKenzie. So, as we were, back to Stevens. He goes this time round the boundary line, and it's Andy Williams Wilson who takes quite a good mark. <laughs> Wilson now <laughs> driving in toward the centre of the ground. <laughs> Alan Davis of St Kilda has marked at centre half forward. I'm sorry about that Andy Williams thing, Frank. It's my fault. Thanks, There's Jack. the kick from Davis. Not a good one. Kicked in the man on the mark who was Tuddenham. Davis recovers well with a left foot kick, driving up toward Grambo. But Grambo, on this occasion, outgeneraled by Peter Daniel of Essendon. Daniel now only about 30 yards out from the St Kilda goal, facing toward the outer side boundary. A wobbly-looking kick, dropping short. The, not, the mark taken down there by Davis. Davis on the half-back flank, play on the outer side of the ground as Davis puts it towards the centre wing and the mark taken there by Fletcher. Ken Fletcher coming across the ground towards centre half four. There's a lead down there by Halley. He picks the ball up on the half volley, puts it across towards the forward pocket. Given chase, there is Charlie Payne. Payne and Basanko are doing battle. Payne keeping the oh. ball in play. In came, comes Judson. Could have given away the free kick, but it's Payne who finally gets his kick in. Casson can't go on with it there. The ball bounce beats the players. Going along the ground here, picked up by Murray, kicked off the side of the boot, out towards the half forward flanks. Parks comes in to meet the ball, secures, lines up the goals, puts it uh, offline across the face of goal, and it's one point that takes the Eston score along to nine goals, eight, 62. Exactly half St Kilda's tally of 18 15, 124. Well, Eston. 18 16, 124, I should say, Jack. Eston are doing it the hard way now, Frank, the big league way. They realise that they can't make it up, and uh, the players. Uh, the game has stopped to us on a slow motion, Joe, hasn't it? Well, we're 15 seconds into time on, Jack, and 62 points of difference. 
It's one of those things, but Bob Murray, who's played quite well also for St Kilda, kicking now to the outer side. There's the kick coming in from Murray. Torpedo punt, which wasn't as long as he normally puts in. And over the back, a good mark has been played to Neil Basanko. He's done a great job for St Kilda. He left foot kick, a short one, over toward Trot. Trot looking for the free kick, got out of trouble nicely on that occasion. On half back now, he kicks up towards the uh, wing area, where the high-reaching Marmot has pulled down a one-handed mark. There's his kick in towards centre half forward. Up they fly, the man in front, not paid, was Williams, taken by Breen, kicked further afield. It's up into no man's land, it bounces for Delahunty. He takes one bounce, Wasserick will take two, now gets a kick downfield. Out toward half four, where Ray Smith uh, had the chance to take it. Halley has the ball taken away from him by Minot. Minot threw that one away for mine. Taylor toward Rodney Galt. Galt with the ball in front of him, can't pick up. Good football here by Smith, takes the ball away. And Essendon over the centre line once again, but coming and diving attempt, not paid to Davis of St Kilda. No, he couldn't make contact, he's well back up by Basanko. Basanko gets a hand pass across here, but as Fletcher comes in, the ball is uh, ricocheted over the line for a throw in halfway between Essendon's forward pocket and their half forward flank. Yes, Essendon trailing by 62 points. And the ball 70 yards out from their goal as Dittrich gets the front posse, but he's beaten by the knock. The ball is taken here by Schultz. He gets a left foot kick up towards the forward pocket. Here's a chance for Wilson. The ball goes along the ground, but Eston not having any luck at all. And yet another point coming up for their score. Well, that's the first score to Wilson and Frank for the day. Hasn't had any goals to his credit, only that one behind there. So Murray now going uh, to the member side again, looking for Judson. The kick isn't a good one. Judson couldn't make it good either. Picked up here by Wilson. He snaps his goals on this occasion. And that's his first goal of the match. Andy Wilson has kicked his first goal and moved the Essendon total on now to 10 goals, 9, 69. But trailing St Kilda, 18 goals, 16, 124. Yes. So going back to half time, Essendon were on 8 goals, 3. So they've had a rather lean second half. Yes, it's full credit to St Kilda. I would say that St Kilda's play has been sparked off because of a very, very tight defence. The Saints have controlled the rucks and the little men have uh, ripped the Eston small men apart. A big punch away from the centre gives an opportunity here to Charlie Payne. Coming out to beat the ball is Grinter. It's taken by Davis, however, and from centre half forward, he puts the ball up towards the forward pocket. Blethen couldn't find the pace to get to it on the ball. Judson's in there. Blethen looking for the free kick. He'll get it too. Judson into the back of Blethen, and Blethen to take the free kick in the forward pocket some 40 yards out from goal. Quarter just about gone. The time clock has just ticked over 28 minutes. As Blethen prepares to take his kick right from the boundary line, he plays on now, hooks the ball back into play. It's well offline and brings up another point to the Don score. So the Dons move along to 10 10, 70 points. St Kilda on 18 16, 124. Well, the only player in the Essendon side that has kicked more than one goal is Ken Roberts, who has two. Jeff Blethen. Well, for today, has kicked one goal, three. There's Ditteridge kicking into the outer side. A good kick, too. Halley over the back, and a good mark to Big Len Halley of Essendon. Here's on half forward on the outer side. A long way out from goal, because that was a good kick by Ditterich. He's gone for the short pass in toward Payne. Payne making the lead into toward the forward pocket, and Payne has marked. Essendon in attack. Charlie Payne about 55, 60 yards out from goal. The kick from Payne slightly from the side of the boot, but coming up toward Ditterich, who is content to force it through for one behind only. So it's a rush point on the scoreboard for Essendon, and their score has now changed to 10 goals, 11, 71. St Kilda, 18 goals, 16, 124. Wait the kick in. Players uh, not doing very much. All very, very quiet out there. Looks like Ditterich coming in again. Facing the same way. Now he's turned to the member's side. Waiting for the kick in now as Dittrich puts the ball back towards the half-back flank. Up goes Parks and brings it in. Parks with an opportunity to play on, which he accepts, puts a high kick back towards the forward pocket area. Dittrich is in there, um, Greta appealing for the mark. Murray bursts out of the pack with the ball, puts the ball out towards the half-back flank. Fletcher gives chase, the ball close to the line. Fletcher traps it, gets onto the left foot, back towards the right, doesn't fill Trot, and that's it, that's the end of the game. And we find that St Kilda, by scoring 18-16, 124, have defeated Eston 10-11, 71.